Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. What a week we've had so far. It's been a busy one, hasn't it, to be honest? Obviously, the uh, the weekend was quite busy with all the playoff stuff. Phil Collins' t-shirt is on tonight. Because it's a big day, Rogue. It's a big night tonight. It's the biggest night of all for Linfield. Last, uh, well, last stream out was, uh, was Monday. Monday was a weird one. We won one trophy. We got knocked out of another cup on penalties. Then we lost a cup final in the 95th minute. The 95th minute. Oh, that was a tough one to take. That was a tough one to take. Um, for a for a save that is based on on winning trophies, that was that was hard. As Friendly Goal says, is it that Linfield will win? against all odds you know what friendly ghost let's have a look shall we this is where we are right now so we are of course first in the premiership we are four points clear of Lan. we have a game in hand that looks fine that looks comfortable However, we'll get to that in a second, Zar. However, four points clear, a game in hand over Lan. Thinking everything's great. We've got what? Ten games left. It's a 33 game season. We've got what does that make it? Is it 33 games? 38 games, I think it is, isn't it? 38 games, right? So we've got 12 games left to go. Okay, we're fine. No problem at all. However, how it was noticed on the chat the other day. Glen Torren have got five games in hand. Five matches in hand. If they win all five games, that puts them 15 points. So that takes them up to 51, 61. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit too close than I want it to be. Oh, no. Because look, this is what happens here. Glen Avon and Glen Torren, and it's all just stupid. We're going to explain a few things that's going on in the chat, by the way at the minute and um, big rogi has cashed in new gen now rogi do you want to cash in now or do you want to cash in at our next club it's entirely up to you you can decide what you want to do mrs j has cashed in straight away for the choose a stream dessert now now um to be honest obviously um people who've been around the stream for since about christmas will have known that we've started to eat quite a bit on the stream now and, and trifles have gone down we did a tiramisu for Gianluca Viali. it's what he would have wanted uh, tonight we didn't have actually a uh, a dessert at hand but i have managed to get there you are i've got a pack of six mince pies so i'll have them during the course of, of the stream tonight and um god it's great i've given up booze and all of a sudden i turned to just eating cakes on stream um so yeah so i, I figured fifteen thousand points was enough um to be like right yeah that should be that should keep just about enough interest in things um but mrs j is straight away cashed in so right mrs j what are we going to go with what's this what's the dessert that's going to be on well it's gonna have to be on next week's stream now isn't it because friday's stream is going to be planning and drafting for uh, the super league unless we finish early then we'll come straight on here and sunday we're doing the super league so we're gonna need all the help we can get the player pool for that is is Spain, La Liga, and Italy, Serie A. So, I mean, let's be honest, I'm going to be fine with that bit. Um, my group's pretty easy, to be honest. Stick Piano, uh, Grimmy, and some bloke called RDF Tactics. Should be fine. Absolutely walk in the park. Then once I get past them, I've got Mozza, Ali, Hood Gaming, and one other who I feel really bad that I've actually forgotten. Let me just double check who we've got. Um... I mean, I've said that with with very much a, a tongue, a tongue in my cheek, um, Rogi there because it's it's just not good, is it? It's just not good. Uh, Gavin Brash, sorry, I'm gonna forget Gavin Brash. Gavin Brash is the other guy who's in the uh, in the tournament. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a lot of fun to be honest. I'm looking forward to it. That's my first FM23 draft, so let's see what happens. I can talk a good game. I can comment a good game. I can host a good game. Can I draft and win a good game? Evening, Martin. Arthur Logan, how are you? Welcome in. Pleasure to have you in here, of course. Sign Grifo, that's the one. Get Grifo, get Pulisic. Difficult when we were only in uh, in La Liga and and, uh, and Serie A. Magpie Tristan in with a gifted sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very kind indeed. Hope life's treating you well, pal. So here's where we are then. This is what happened. This is what happened, right? 
absolute bobbins is what happened here, right? We'll sit back, we'll watch the goals. Tristan in with a prime as well. Appreciate it, buddy. Three months, this is the final, right? This is what happens, okay? We go a goal down. It's a decent effort. 11 minutes in, we've got plenty of time to pull this one back. We should be okay. It takes us till 85 minutes for us to be okay. Bailey Kadamartri gets the goal. Amazing, okay? Then this happens. 94th minute, Chevron, little bounce. Morn, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Make a draft stream only channel point option. That's a pick me a player for 2030k. That's not a bad shot, actually. We could do that. We could get that done. I need to do a stream only chat as well or a stream only Discord bit as well um, for um, for subs. So remind me to do that as well, Rogi. I'll get it sorted out. Um, Glen Avon, we're out on penalties, right? So now here's the plan. Here's the plan, chat, okay? So while Mrs. J is working out what, what dessert she wants me to eat in the next uh, upcoming streams, um, there has been a bit of chat as well in the Discord as well about other things that we can do. Uh, George, by the way, who, who we love dearly, um, and uh, has been suggesting many Guinness Book of Records style challenges. So I'm not entirely sure that's a good idea. Um, but we'll see. Uh, at one point, we were considering eating 30 peas with a uh, with a cocktail stick. It's only all, all, all for content, right? Um, Andy Hall's in the Northern Irish League. Is he really? Is he really? Let's see how, how far we're on then, because we're fairly far in though that's the problem Tristan I think he's probably left now that's the issue I think he's gone yeah we're in 2028 now so I think unfortunately we've missed Andy but we'll have we'll have got him at the start two pints of Ben and Jerry's see that was the thing geezer right now a Viennetta came up as a part of discussion understandably so it's a it's elite level dessert as we've all discussed before because Dave Goodge is not here and no one's going to tell us otherwise only thing I'm concerned about is melting but then again, two pints of Ben and Jerry's, if it melts, it melts, I'll just drink it. You know what I mean? It's not a problem, is it? So here's where we are. This is the plan for tonight, chat, right? We've got the league games, okay? The league games to do. Then, of course, the five games after the league splits. Then we've got a decision to make. Because, okay? This is where we currently are in terms of progress. Right. These are the trophies we've won, okay? Four seasons in, sorry, six seasons in, we've only won... Four C's, four trophies. Okay, so we can't win. I should probably update this graphic again because it's now out of date slightly because we haven't won those trophies. Um, so we didn't win the Northern Irish Cup. We didn't win the League Cup. Okay, so that's two trophies that we've lost out on. We can potentially still win the Premiership. That's great. Steel and Sons Cup. Okay, we can still win that. But I've got a feeling that that is going to be. But well, I think that's that's from um, from below, isn't it? You got to be in the in league division. Yeah, you got to be further down to win that. Yeah, because it's Linfield Swifts have won it. Um, a whole afternoon tea. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Um, so the question we're going to do, right? The question we're going to do, okay, is when we keep this on screen for a second is our next move has to be somewhere where we can go with, um, let me follow in quickly, sorry, by the way, welcome in Raiders. Welcome in Aerolax, appreciate you, very, very kind indeed. Hope the uh, save was good, hope the stream was good. How was it? Welcome in, of course, uh, Dadson, appreciating the follow there, it was very kind of you. Um, what was your save? How did you get on? This, of course, we're doing, here, we're doing British Steel Challenge here, by the way. We're uh, trying to win everything we possibly can in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Ames Patchwork, first time in. Appreciate you. Thank you very much for that. Hey, hey, hey. Indeed. Hope life is good. Rogie shouting Wales. A15's in. Nice to see you, pal. Talking about what we're going to eat on stream. Is Mr. J says, a pavlova or a black forest gato. I'm a big fan of a black forest gato. That could be quite good, to be honest. David Dadson, hello, mate. Hello, welcome in. Nice to see you. On an entire afternoon tea. I mean, we do know my thoughts on an afternoon tea, Mr. J. A whole bunch of little things. Give me the full plate. That's what I want. Erlax smashing up blood Spartans at the moment. Second in the league in our second season. Love it. Love that indeed. Erlax, how's our save going? This is how it's going so far. So... We are six seasons in. We're trying to win everything, as I say, in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, right? Um, we're currently, we've only won four things. We won the Blue Square, uh, the Bluefin Sports Premier Intermediate League. We've won the County Antrim Shield. We've won the Intermediate Cup and the Ulster Cup. 
Um, yeah, it's it's not going great, to be honest. We need to try and get some more things done. Wales is an option because there's got to be more trophies involved in there, right? And that's what we need to try and work out. Where do we go next that's got trophies? Wales is going to dump our rep, sadly, so I think that's going to be a problem. Scotland's my other option, to be honest. So, I don't know. I don't know. This is what I'm trying to find out. Um, so I've been eyeing up a chocolate cheesecake in the local, sh local shop for over a few weeks. So far, I've resisted. But why? Right, two questions here, Ames. Two, right? One, how didn't you just buy the chocolate cheesecake in the first place? Right? And I get that. My go-to wouldn't be a chocolate cheesecake either. I would go for, um, you know, a fruit-based cheesecake personally. Okay? The second question, and Aerolax has kind of already touched upon it there. What a bad shop that it hasn't sold a cheesecake for two weeks. That's... Got to worry about that. Got to worry. Geotain with the sub as well, by the way, on the Prime. Appreciate that. Very kind. Thank you so much. So, yes, yeah, so we've got to kind of try and think our head now as to as to where it's frozen. Okay. Again, you, you've almost made it sound like they've, like, oh, they've, they've got a chocolate cheesecake in, and uh, you're not going to believe it, man. They, they have a chocolate cheesecake in there, and still there. Still there. You know? So, just let it go. Nice, Rogie. Nice. That's a reference, isn't it? That's a reference and a pun. I'm aware of that one. Uh, a bit late on the goal. They should have scored the second ball when it went live. Yeah. Extra layers of mould just add to the flavour. It, it can do. It can do, Aralax. Yeah, it can. It's a, it's a good point, actually. Good point, well made. Um, as you can see, we also have a slight issue of injuries and suspensions starting to add up. Um, should mention, we had Owen Toll was missing in the final because, you know, suspended. Great idea for that to happen. Um, and then, because he got sent off in the cup game against uh, against Glen Avon, which went to penalties all the way through the penalties. Every single penalty. So many penalties. And, um, and we also signed Powell Sullivan, who's like become it's become a bit crazy. Like we managed, we just chucked a whole lot of money. I went right. We need you. Okay, you're incredibly expensive. Let's try and just buy the league with you as a player. Um, got him in, but of course then he can't play in the in the cup games. So, so this is where we are at this point now. Trying to shake off two defeats back to back. We've never, we've not had two defeats back to back this season. That's the thing. So it is interesting to work out how these players are going to adjust to that. Hopefully, they should be fine. Hopefully. Um, Dave Gudges in. There's all this talk of desserts in it. Here he comes. Hey, oh, nice to see you, Dave. Hope life is treating you good. Two defeats back to back. Sell the entire team. This is why we're leaving, Rogi. Fucking bullshit, isn't it? Absolute bullshit. Um, there is, as I'm sure you're probably aware, there is part of me thinking, do we stay for another season? But we can't. We can't stay because we can't just focus on the Cups because we'll get sacked. Now, this is the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, it's tempting to go, right, you know, let's just try and do that. But I, I, just, I just don't think we can do it. I don't think we do it. We have to go... Northern Ireland, we've still got a lot of trophies left to do, but we have to leave this season. Quite good, because I have I have enjoyed Northern Ireland. It's been good. I think we've got some good players in this team. I think it would be interesting to see where this team could go. But the problem as well with leaving, particularly if we go to, to England, even Keeney, how are you, pal? Particularly if we... Uh, if we go to England, is it then just becomes a journeyman save? Because there's no trophies to win early doors in, in National League North and South. We're not going to get anything else other than, than the promotion one. And the, the longer this stays, with us not picking up multiple trophies a season, the harder this challenge is going to be. Now, there is, of course, another question we could say is... Um, do we, do we consider the Yatsi rule and if we win a, tro a trophy twice we can then sacrifice another trophy down the line 
Or the other stupid question is, do we just add Southern Ireland into it? Because we might be able to get some trophies there. I just, I don't think so. I think we have to go, I think we have to go to Scotland. I think that's where we've got to go next. And then we have to work out, and we'll do a little bit of scouting on, on some of the teams tonight, as to how many cup competitions we can play and how many we can feasibly be involved in. Because obviously we've had the SPFL trophy in this uh, season here with Linfield. That would have been an extra bonus cup for us to consider winning as well. Um, the fact that Northern Ireland has so, so many trophies is a bit... It's a bit rubbish that we haven't won more, to be honest. Um, still a bit good. We didn't do anything in the uh, in the second season per se, but uh, in the second division, that's to say. Sorry, but we have managed to bounce our way up into the Premiership, so so that, that is something definitely. Replacement real feels like cheating. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent, Raju. I was just, to be fair, all I was doing there was just spitballing ideas and getting them out of my head. Like I didn't want to to have that as a thing, but I was like, I've just got to say it out loud. Sullivan, nice ball, James pulls it back. That's beautiful football. That's the million dollar football we've been playing, we've been playing. Best chance of winning anything below the Scottish Premiership would be with a full-time team, 100% A15. But again, remember, we've got to go all the, eye, the way back to the bottom as well. So there will have to be a chance where we go to find these uh, these, these teams in far-flung lands. Rogie says, any team under the top flight can be three cups in a season, plus the league Scottish Cup. Fireplay Prem Sports Cup, Tunnock's Tasty Treat, SPFL Trust Trophy, right, nice. That's where we're going then. If we can get a Scottish Championship Club, that would be pretty good. The Scottish Championship would be handy, wouldn't it? We, we could do that from the Northern Irish Premier, easy. Oh, Joe Duffy in there as well. Aberdeen, like one of those wild haggises you have to hunt. I think so. I think so. Right, well, we need to start start researching our teams. Who's the team? Who's the team that we like? A15, I'm from Aberdeen. I'm, I'm guessing that's the postcode. A15. You can put us all up when we come up. After we've done the uh the tour, so we'll do we'll do Bambridge, then we'll do Linfield. We probably won't do uh a tour near Dungannon, I don't think. Probably not even in Porter Down either. So we'll do we'll do Bambridge, we'll do Linfield, so that, that'll be Belfast. Penalty could be 3-0 now. Then we'll do Aberdeen. And one team of Scotland might be Ross County. I mean Ross County would be good, wouldn't it? Queen's Park seem to do well on these games. Queen's Park would be handy would be handy. Yeah, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, Wales in that order. I think that's probably the way to do it, Dan. I think that's probably the way to do it, and then go back and finish all the other, all the other um, cups off. So if we get to the point where we have done Wales, we're then going to have to go back, finish those like Northern Irish cups that are in the third division, um, and just see what's what. Ross County could be fun. Could be. We'll have to we'll have to have a look. So we'll, we'll get our get our spreadsheets out. Ooh. Tony wants me to run of him managing Killy. I do. I do. I'd like to run. I'd like to manage Killy. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to be Killy. I'd like to be um, to be Saint Mirren. Actually, I've said this a lot. I quite like to be Saint Mirren. So I'm happy with either of those, Rogie. I'm saying now, by the way, if we get to the SPL. And we need to win the title. We're managing Celtic. Okay. We've done it. We've done our bit for Rangers here with Linfield. We're doing Celtic. Okay. Yes, that's right. The jobs also have to be open as well. That's the thing. Ian Chat, look, look who it is. Let's get relegated from League One. Did you get relegated from League One, Mr. Goodger? Oh dear. Oh dear. I mean, your save's pretty difficult as well, to be honest, man. So, my new gen, claim my new gen is at his next club. Yes, that's a good idea. Won the Premier League with, with County, got them ranked 23rd in Europe. Premier League is easy after the second season, you've broken the old firm dominance. I guess that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's a lot of 
when you get to those sort of levels, like you could argue Wales is fine once you break TNS. So if TNS are already broken by the time we get there, and we and we can just sneak in, then and that'll be perfect, right? Also, we have to consider as well where Bailey Calamari will come. Evening, Dan Outlander. How are you, pal? Long time, no see. Hope you well. Happy New Year. Friendly goals to start a new save last night. Gillingham, that's a ball for us, Sullivan. That's a great finish. That, now that goal, friendly ghost. That goal was money. The friendly ghost, right? I have enjoyed being in the heel. I have enjoyed throwing a bit of cash around. Look at that ball from Palmer. Well, Sullivan's through. Do we play with this team for another season? <laughs> like, stop it, Tony, stop it. <laughs> Um, and yes, by the way, it was, it was mentioned, of course, well, since we're in our fan owned, so that's pretty pretty handy as well, isn't it? Are oh, you getting hit by the Rona, are you, Den? No. I hope you're well. How long how long you been having it? I'm just, I, I'm 99% sure I've got a chest infection. Mrs. J is very much the case that you're 170% sure you have a chest infection. I'm, I'm, I'm that convinced I've got one, I've rang the doctors. That's how convinced I am that I've got a chest infection at this point. If you saw me on the playoffs over the weekend, I was at constantly like, muting up my mic to, to, to cough away. In fact, I was doing it the other night on the uh, on the streams, wasn't I, for the, for the cup finals. It was just like, oh, there's fine. Pause up in the background. So, there's Kadamartri. That's five. Friendly suggested one more. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Friendly ghost got his uh, got his heel heel stir and pot out as well. It's like one more, one more, one more save, one more save. Can't keep with the opening time here in my stream on a different team. Uh, well, we've been here for what? I'd say maybe two weeks now, three weeks possibly. Even Hutch, how are you, buddy? So we're slowly getting there, Scott. This is a. Uh, this came about after we somehow managed to fail upwards. That's the thing. We somehow managed to fail upwards from uh, from when we were struggling with Dungan and got that cup trophy. Couldn't. Wasn't looking like we were going to keep them in the league. So we uh, we somehow ended up at Linfield and they were like second division. So also you've not seen some Porter down. Porter down. We moved to Dungannon. Dungannon who knocked us out of the cup in the semi-finals so they battered us in the cup 4-0 5-0 I think and they then offered us the job they hadn't won a game in the league all season so they were sat at the bottom of the table so we thought we'd take it and be mercenaries about it because we could then at least try and get a cup ticked off um, so we did that turned up got a couple of wins in the league nothing major won the cup so that was fine and then the players then just sort of went, we don't really like you. And we weren't that confident we were going to stay up. So we were like, right, let's just leave before the before the, the split. Whoever they put in charge ended up keeping them up. So it was fine. Right. And we were sort of at that point going, where do we go? Where do we go? We got offered a few places. Like we got offered um, Dulwich Hamlet, which we wanted to do. We got offered Ebb's Fleet. Um, we actually got offered Northampton as well. But... We also got offered Linfield, who'd finished second in the league that season. Altrincham wanted us. Quite a few teams wanted us, actually. Hutch in with the prime. Appreciate you, Hutch. Very kind. Thank you for that. Um, and, yeah, so we just decided, right, fine, let's let's give it one more go in Northern Ireland and go with arguably one of the best teams in Northern Ireland who are set up to actually do well. So, um, so we've won one cup with Linfield. We got knocked out of another cup on our stream on Monday night on penalties. Then we lost our second cup final the game after in the 95th minute. So there's one out of three trophies. We look like we should theoretically win the league. Um, I guess the only question going forward is, have we missed anything? We didn't win the SPFL Cup, so we can't get that. But next season, we've kind of got our eyes now on trying to go to Scotland. So we just sort of 
keeping our eyes peeled. Air's available, St. Albans is available, Kevin Drews is available. Air's kind of like our things. Hibs, we're probably not going to get Hibs. Bolton, hey, remember when we went to Bolton? Um, um, so we've only won four trophies at this point, Scott. At one point, we were like, oh, yeah, we'll have seven, it'll be easy. We're currently now on four. Um, so it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, but, you know, it's better than nothing, isn't it? It's better than nothing. Yeah, we're not. Bolton would be hard, wouldn't it, to go back to? Uh, St Johnston there. There's nothing that's, that's jumping out just yet, of course. As I say, the ideal would be to go to Scotland. Hibs could be a shout, but the, but the thing is, we've got a bit of, we've got a little bit of a, of, of an issue with, with Hibs from FM Twenty One, when they bought a player from us on deadline day and really fucked us over, so. We're kind of a little bit like Hibs, eh? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. They bought they bought Bambo Diaby the snake. And then who else did they get? Who else did they get from us, Rogi? Can you remember? Wasn't it? It was a midfielder, wasn't it? I've got the ability to Hibs it on a grand level. I could. I, I mean, trust me. I've got confidence in my own ability to 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 fucking nosedive any football club to be honest but you know they've got a couple of players that look quite handy as well mind to go say Hibs but as I say I don't I don't forget I don't forget unless it's something I need to do then in that case yeah I definitely forget I'm no Lee Johnson I mean can you say that <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I said Johnson could be fun Uh, <laughs> Friendly Ghost has definitely enjoyed playing the heel. <laughs> I'm gonna love watching this. I, I can't wait to see what happens now. <laughs> Nothing like holding a grudge for an absolute addition and then save us never gonna see the light of day again. Exactly. If I can't do that, Dave Gudger, then then what's all this been for? Do you know what I mean? That's what it's all about, right? Would you ever manage? No, no, not anymore. Not after what they did in FM twenty in FM two thousand fourteen. No chance. No chance. Lee Johnson's an arse. Yeah, to be fair, like he did leave Sunderland, didn't he? So FM twenty two is not obsolete. Good point. And FM twenty one was when we uh, were having that, that issue with Bambo Diaby. So so we shall see. So we're currently um, eight points clear of Lan. We've now drawn level on games played. So we've played our game in hand up against Cliftonville, who, again, one of those top teams in Northern Ireland. They're currently sat third. Remember, Glen Torren have got five games in hand and they're already a goal up against Dungannon, who just refused to do us a favour here, clearly. Such a bizarre bit of defending there to concede the corner. It's all right, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we're fine. Ball's cleared away. Mallard, good block again. So, concerning that they're already under a bit of a bit of pressure. Should do a BN biscuit stream. I could do a BN biscuit stream. The thing is, Rogi, as well, is I'd, I'd love to do like a tunnock stream, but they're they're horrible people now, so I can't do it. Do you know what I mean? That they've they've just they've shot themselves in the uh, in the foot there, haven't they? Can't be doing that. Also, as well, the more we do this, we might end up with a sponsorship. Oh, this stream is brought to you by cakes. Cakes. They're like food, but they're full of sugar and bad for you. Come for the football manager, but stay for watching a man eat several eclairs all at once. It's in the background occasionally. Is he playing football manager, do you reckon? I don't know. Seems like he's eating, a, eating an entire profiterole, a crock and douche, you know? I don't understand why he's doing that. What's, what's, a, what's a Christmas tree formation? That makes sense, got you. Cheers. 
cheesy peas from the pasta. Yeah. Keep this up and you'll get diabetes. Exactly. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Christmas cake for me. I've got a Christmas cake still to eat. My mum makes a great Christmas cake. The problem is, is that, like, you know, uh, coming off the booze, it's not the best cake to be eating. Eat a trifle every time we score. I guess it's back down to the low leagues, Wilson. It's Nigel then, like, did Tony eat a trifle all on the stream? No, no, he's playing. He's playing a, an 11 an 11 0 0 formation. He's not even got a goalkeeper in goal, he's got 11 defenders. Literally, just they're all across the goal line. Keeper doesn't get out back. A lazy pass there from Duffy. Hey, cheesecake, watch a breezy navigate transfer deadline day last night. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? In fact, we'll do a cheesecake because I'm going to prove to you that those cheesecakes are not a family sized cheesecake. Okay? I proved you about that. But you lot all know that anyway, right? Because you're all smart people. No one's looking at that cheesecake going, I bet that serves an entire family. You know what? You're going, where's the rest of it? I'm still I'm still angry with Claudio. Don't you get me? I'm still angry with Claudio. We all know he's a racist. I need to try and find that bit, don't I? And try and edit it. Post it online. It's a Christmas tree formation. Let me show you by eating these three shaped shortbreads. Exactly. Good job. Now you're on board, aren't you? Tony's suffering for his art. A true hero. Things I do for entertainment chat. You know what I mean? You know, some people have like, you know, sub goals in that in the bottom corner. They're like, oh, you know, it'd be great. Like, if we get up to like this many subs, that'd be amazing. We'll do this and this with it. I'm like, if you watch the stream long enough, you can tell me what to eat. <laughs> Seems fair, doesn't it, really, when you think about it? I don't know what stream was, I just remember coming off the back of you being very passionate about LGBTQ plus rights. I mean, that could be, could be definitely pre-World Cup, innit? And it was pre-FMT Live as well, was it? No, it wasn't, actually. Was something else we just did in FMT Live about Ranieri. Cheesecake to serve family wouldn't fit on screen. Exactly, Nige. A family of mice, maybe, but not a family of humans. You know, here I am. I'm just, I'm just one, just one simple man. That's all I am. But art is art. Do you clip it? I think, yeah, you might have done it actually, Freddie. We'll see. I'll go back for that. Right. A draw only puts us five clear of Lon. It's not the worst result in the world. Still 15 points clear of, still more than 15 points clear of Glen Avon. And we've got Bailey Cadam Archery. Why did I not remember that? Of course, we've got Bailey Cadam Archery. Money goals. Money goals. Right, where's Bailey Cadam Archery coming next season? Not gonna lie, folks, I did. Have a look at classic football shirts the other day. There's a Linfield shirt on there. Probably wouldn't ever buy one given their their, their uh, connections, but it was it was a it was a thing to go like you could get a Cadamari shirt, didn't you? That is a great win. What's the all-time goals for Linfield? I don't think there's too many to be honest. Day 15. I think it's quite low. But let's have a little look, shall we? Where can we find it? It'll be in club history, won't it? Um, club info. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. Uh, history. Records. Records. So most league goals by a player in a season is 15. I mean, we've, we've eclipsed that, surely. Most overall goals by a player in a season is 23. We've, we've obliterated that. And he's on 33. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on. He's, he's fine. All right. He's got 25 league goals so far this season. Yeah, he's the... He's, he's the only... Oh, he needs to get a fourth. Scanlon, of course, who scored four in that match against Dungannon, which got us the... Uh, which obviously you know, got us the job. Um... 
yeah, it looks like that. It just looks like... It looks like he's already the new... The, uh, the club's record goal scorer. Halloween for Claudio. Nice. Sunderland. There was there was a little bit I thought because wasn't it the press conference was like a, was it about Middlesbrough maybe or something? It you've whispered it, you legend, you legend, friendly goes. I thought it, I thought it was it was pre FMT live because I remember talking about it on on the stage on FMT live. And that was at the start of November, so it obviously couldn't have been FM23. So appreciate that, uh, friendly ghost. Thank you so much, sir. Have a little look at that. Let's keep going past this because. I know, I know Friendly wants to uh, Friendly wants to see us manage Linfield for another season but I think, I think we have to go I do think we have to go to a minute of you dying on camera it was I remember it I remember it was great wasn't it it was a lot of fun crack open these mince pies if no one's uh, if no one objects Anyway, and then proof that it is a brand new pack of pies. So they are, so they're all in there. All right? Yeah, all six. I object. <laughs> I will repackage some mince pies for you then, Rogi. That's the uh, what we'll do. If there's anyone else outside from the, in from the outside the UK as well, I'm trying to work out what a mince pie is. It's a sweet, a sweet mince. So it's like currants and sultanas and spices and stuff, and uh, encased in in a short crust pastry with a bit of sugar on top. Eaten at Christmas. Meant to be eaten by January because, you know, you're not supposed to eat them after Christmas. But, hey, mince pies, I can do what I want. And if you want a mince, a mince meat pie, then I'll do that as well. You know? Mm. Mm. Certainly not as much meat as you'd expect, Rajo, yeah. Hmm. Sutton United pies would be great. They're meant, they're meant to be awesome, aren't they? Did they? Are they the ones that got they got voted like pie of the year or something? Um, are they just, they're just normal Tesco ones, A15. To be honest, I've not gone fancy this year. Just uh, just thought I'd just do you know just cheap and cheerful. Pie chips and beans, honestly, I could literally have me tea, couldn't I? Probably every day. I could do a do a do a hog roast, you know. Do a stream from a green king pub. Yeah. What are you eating there? Tony? I'm just eating. Uh, I'm eating uh, scampi fries. Um, and I'm having a pint of Bombardia. So there you go. What about that? Tesco pies were the best ones you had. Hey, you know what? The Tesco ones are fine. The Tesco finest ones are pretty good as well, man. Because here's old Tory Jameson coming out again. Um, but yeah, no, they, they do some all right ones, the Tesco's. I'm okay with it. Right, we have to, uh, I think we have to beat Dungannon, don't we, for, you know, for old time's sake. Didn't we beat them like 5 0 or something again this at the start of the season? There's Barry Hercules, Mrs. J. Barry Hercules is in making his, uh, making, a, well, making an appearance, I suppose. could put them back in the relegation um, consideration so m and s pies whoa okay a15 someone's uh someone's doing well for themselves aren't they
I mean, I'll be honest with you, Mrs. J. In in a in a way, I I do want Barry Hercules to play well, but I also don't need him to score. Thank you. That'll be quite nice. There goes Duffy. He's away. No one in front of him. Neil's met me in front of him. Gets the corner. That'll do. To be honest. Uh, of course, Buns are being promoted to the front door. Tesco and Killy. I only bought two packs. Mrs. J. Fucking loves a horse cross bun. By the way. Noel Beacom gets himself a gets himself a goal. Magpie Tristan living for this city game. We hope they hold out. I mean, you know, you know my views on 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 the situation that could unfold if that's the situation there, Tristan. So, um, but yeah, it'd be good. I mean, look, you know, Man City don't deserve to fucking win everything. Get rid of them. But who else is left in? So that we what Southampton and yourselves and. Uh, who else? Oh, Combi with a great finish there. Who else is left in? Oh, that's Bonner and Eccles kick. I think if you try to send a link there for me, I'm not sure that's not sure there. Or you've just written piss, either or. I don't know. Mr. J, this is slow descending into Tony, has his tea on stream, so just start streaming earlier. Maybe, maybe. United Forest and Wolves. Um, yeah, I'm alright with United, wouldn't it? Wolves will be fine, Forest will be fine, Southampton will be fine. I'm alright with that. Any of those are good. Palmer hits it over the top. We need. Okay, that's, that's not really. It's not really helping us. Mikasen. Neil, we are resting Kadamati, of course, as well, so we might have to bring him off. Keeper's made a save and conceded the corner as well. Um, oh, new football manager shows out today, by the way. I don't know if you've uh, if you've seen that or not. Probably should mention it, shouldn't I? Yeah. Done. The guy with been Garibaldi hands, yeah. Such a liability, wasn't he? He was the one that didn't want to play for us, and then everyone else just sort of like went along with it and just went, oh, okay, fair enough, yeah. Bring back Grazik. Oh, we're, we're in we're in white and red, friendly. I think that's why you. Uh, I, th I, th I sort of thought you were cheering that goal was money. Ironically, when we uh, when we conceded to make it one all. Henderson, Cooper, inside of Duffy. A bit of movement on Cooper. Play the ball. Mikasen. Let's cross in. James gets it back. Duffy with a decent shot. Okay, no worries. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense to go. So I was just like, yeah, it's fine. Like at first I was just like, I think that's pretty, pretty funny. But then I was just like, I think, you, I think you're confused. That's a great finish. Mm. I mean, it's a great finish for them, but unfortunately that means we're two-one down. Okay. Two one down against Dungannon as well. Of all teams, it was a lovely finish. Don't get me wrong. Like they never learned that when we were in charge. Great ball over the top. Duffy's through. Oh, he's off the post. How? How? In their faces, come on. I think we might have to uh, commit another man up front at this point. Nice header by James. Great header, actually. And Chevron James is working uh, working overtime at right back, by the way. Due to, like everybody just dying slowly. Duffy picks it back up. Don't shoot unless you're going to score, Duffy. Mad bastard. So that's right, Glen Torn on 52 at this point. Bailey's just scored the Pizza Cup semi final to send us through. Nice. That's what it's all about, Dave, isn't it? Bailey knows what's going on. Um, right, Cooper. 
actually kind of Marty's going to have to come on, isn't he? I think we have to bring... Maybe it is actually, maybe it is, that's a good shout, yeah. Stretch the play a bit. Press them as well, get in their face. It's a good shout, very good shout. Strange energy, just like you rest like one or two players and all of a sudden like the team looks really unbalanced again. It's just that sort of momentum, isn't it? The, uh, you can have as a as a team when we're, we're not used to winning so it's just like what do we do now uh, also as well we're on attacking and we don't seem to be making too much so they obviously set up well defensively Mikasen comes inside kind of marching from distance of course he's going to try from there why wouldn't he Maybe possibly bring Palmer off, maybe. Um, where the ball in the box, you think, yeah. to go to three at the back again. I mean this isn't this isn't the uh, the result that we were hoping for. But these sorts of results do happen. Or Sullivan, Callum Artery. Back to James. Oh, Chevron straight at the keeper. Who's knackered? They're all knackered, really, aren't they? Um, so let's put Henderson there. Power there. Want there. Um. Right, so he goes to. Let's create uh, sorry. Power Henderson. Drilled the ball in well. Power James. Power Henderson. Oh, but miscontrolled it. Tall. Mikerson. Tall. Inside. Chevron. Oh! Nobody saves a shot from Kadamari in the back post, surely. How? The tune's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll be all right. Like, long term in the league, but it's just a bit, it's just a bit frustrating, isn't it? It's, oh. it's against, your, against a former team as well. That's when it's a bit worrying, isn't it? When things weren't going well there. Then they do you. Mikasen brings it down. Oh, far too far. What's Sullivan? Mikasen. <laughs> Alright, keepers coming up. because obviously the highlight's already ready, isn't it? So, keeper's got it. 2-1 defeat against Dungannon. I mean, it happens. 
Mikkelsen goes for it. Oh, what a wasted cross. We've not even got crossing on either. I think we've changed it to, to work the ball into the box. You know? It's going to come in, isn't it? Head away by Tall, that'll do. Here's Henderson, launches it. Calamari's not going to get there. And the thing is, the more we push, the more space we're going to leave open behind. And we're just going to get caught on the break. We know. We think whips, yeah. Here's James. Punts it up. Mikasen chases it. Balls in. It just seems like the ball's always going down the left, but it's probably not the best idea for it to do that. Who can we switch around? Let's put a Suller on there. Let's see what we can come up with here. Let's see if switching the play around will switching the players around will help. Scannell gives the ball away. Get it forward, just get the ball forward. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Neil, Scannell, Kanamartri, he needs to be in the box actually, to be honest. Got beat, got beat by Dungannon. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it's getting. It's going to start getting nervy now. Because what's that mean? That's five games, so 15 points would take that to 67. Oh. Henderson wants a new deal. I mean, now is not the time, really, but, you know, it's fine. You're looking like a decent prospect. We bottle the title here. This is if we bottle the title, we're definitely staying, right? We can't we can't, surely, surely we can't. Someone try and convince me that we can't bottle the title. I think it may, maybe people who've not seen me before. That, that you guys might be the ones who can sort of like go, yeah, I'm sure this is gonna be fine. You know. Everyone else just sit there just going. Oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> Why do we bother? <laughs> again, we can do it in style as well. Exactly. We will take this to the wire. <laughs> and we will let it slip right at the end. And everyone will be going, that was stunning. How you managed to ruin it that way, Tony. God. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do try my best. Even sports mad, how are you, buddy? <laughs> Say the first words where he can't bottle it from here. <laughs> Look, we can and we will. You know that, man. You know that sports mad. You know it's, it's 100%. If it's possible, I can do it. I can do it. I'm the one that can do it. And I'm the one that will do it. Surely he's not going to Macintosh it. Well... We'll see. We'll see. Hope you're well, though, Sportsman. Hope's good. Magpie Tristan, I'm here for the uh, mince pie SMO. Exactly. That's what we're all here for, right? Football managers, just, just background stuff. And Glenn Torrent won 4 0, so that's fine. That keeps their hunt on. It is literally going to go to the wire, and we know we know exactly how this works now. I know in hindsight I should be sat, you know, doing some 
specific training or something or working on systems or working on set players but just kind of think we just need to just this season just needs to finish you know get it over the line hopefully get our hands on a title and then start thinking where next I mean the big thing as well if we can I think we play Glen Torren next actually there, yeah after we play Crusaders so if we if we can do something there even if it's a draw do anything Tony only wins when he's face deep in trifle I mean there is there is truth in that though friendly goes there is truth isn't it so don't I can't really I can't really argue with it the evidence is there you know we need to rest Kadamari for next week it's important that he's fit should we play a huge limit? Point a finger and be demanding, motivate them. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Yeah. Fucking do it, lads. Pump the fists, come on. Everyone needs to needs to show it. Pick three random and break the legs and train. <laughs> Same example. <laughs> Cliftonville versus Linfield for BTTS last night. I was angry till I realised the rest of my coupon was oh, a jobby. Oh no. Yeah, you don't want that, Jules. You don't want that. If you if, if you want it in FM terms though, we won, so so that's good, right? In in real real life, not so much sadly. Scan all through. Hewlin gets his head on it. Even a nomadic striker, how are you, pal? Not seen you around for a while. Happy New Year, hope you're good. Scannell, Hewlin gets a header down and then Duffy. That's what we want. That's million dollar remotes out. Chevron James, new signing. I love that player, by the way. I love him. Scannell, great header, great cross. Hewlin knocks it down. Duffy's in the right place. I, I think Duffy's been a good signing as well from Bolton, mind. To be honest. I think he's been pretty good. You know, there's a couple of bits where he, some of his shooting can be a little bit wild, but I think for a player who's happy to sort of like work that shadow striker role, get in and cause problems, it gets us some goals when we when we need them as well. Tony the greatest team at full time and bring your fucking trifle with you, you're gonna need it. Doing the Keegan, I would love it if I would love it if we eat them. <laughs> yeah. J Jameson just goes like all of his players' houses and goes through the cupboards and go, fucking what's these breakaways? Breakaways and just eats them in front of them. Not on my watch. Fox's classics. Fucking how much am I paying you here? Don't you go telling me they were a Christmas present. No, they weren't. Bring the kids, I'll eat in front of the kids. I don't care if they are crying. That'll motivate you to win on Sunday, won't it? I'll show you a breakaway. Two foot challenge, exactly. Cammy Palmer with an effort. <laughs> Cheap shit breakaways. Where's your pride? Get a fucking bag of penguins. <laughs> Playing Viennette there, it's fucking Dave Good you've been around here or something. Jesus. For the same money, you can have a mint one. Oh, mate, Keeney, you know I'm a gold bar guy. You know I'm a gold bar guy. Right? In fact, here's the thing. Myself and Mrs. J, when we go up to see my parents, there's like a sort of discount shop that's... Uh, 
that we go to that's got like sort of a, they had a bag of gold bars the other day, two quid. And I was tempted to buy them. I was tempted to buy them, but then Mrs. J was like, I was buying like a proper pack of gold bars. She didn't, I lied. Tim Goody leaves the stream after the fear of mint, food, mint chocolate food being discussed. That's what he's getting in his 80s food references. Hey, you know what? There's, there's not many streams that will do that, A15, but this is my this is my niche, right? Hey, who, who remembers Bernard Matthews' turkey dinosaurs, eh? Crispy pancakes, oh, they were good, weren't they? They weren't, they were terrible. Hot in the centre of the sun, though. When's Mrs. J changing her name to Sarah Lee? Well, funny you said we, we spoke about a Sarah Lee Gattle. Um, I, I've made that sound really dodgy, haven't I? Just like, you know, we spoke about Sarah Lee Gatto, actually. Um, yeah, that was going to be a, 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 a Christmas dessert for us to both eat. We were just going to get a Gatto each. Ever had a roll with a slice and a crispy pancake? No, I haven't, but now, now I do. Which one did you go for, Rogan? Did you go for the cheese and ham or the, or the minced beef? Or did you go for the, uh, I presume there was like a sort of spicy curry style one, wasn't there? Big Kyle on the back post. Juice. Yeah, beef, beef. <laughs> yeah, and ham as well. Push your pancakes in, you and improve. Still tis shite. <laughs> I mean, cheese and ham with a roll and slice. I, I, yeah, all right, okay. I'm in, I'm in. Disappointed, no mention of Gino Janelli. I mean, hey, the, stream, the stream's not finished yet, A15, don't worry. a crispy pancake you've never lived mrs j never lived just you wait till we get the pot man round and again that's not you know anything else to do with like you know family life or whatever i feel a little bit like peter k at this point you know, who remembers crispy pancakes Villa Pop Sarsaparilla, yes, 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 sports man, you know, you know. Bottle of blue for kids, bottle of blue for kids. I used to remember going out to uh, to the ice cream van with a, a dinner plate. And just going like, just going like, what is up at my nan's dinner plate, just going, just fill, fill the dinner plate with, with ice creams. It was mainly oysters. Oh, what a strike that is. What a strike that is. That's what we want to be, Tony. To get Tony Pavlo over a Black Forest get over a full afternoon tea. Start the poll. Start the poll. Get on the poll, uh, Rogi. Yeah, we had the Sykes in, uh, in Washi. Yeah, yeah. Black Forest Gattles, uh and he goes to uh, choice so far. And our poll is up. Black for Pavlova, Black Forest Gatto. Full afternoon tea, not young Forest Gatto. <laughs> Did not pick option number four. Something, like with, something with a lot of meringue could be quite could be quite messy, wouldn't it? <sighs> Needed to get Nottingham Forest Gatto out of my head. They, they do it. See, it's difficult, isn't it, Rogi? Sometimes when there's just words there, and you just have to say it out loud. Now you now you know what I'm like when I'm streaming. Why has he said that? Because like, you just have to. Black Forest Gatto's winning so far. A Sarah Lee one, obviously, I'm hoping. Eating mess, eating trifles, yes. You have to sing the eating rifles uh, song by the jam while you're eating it. Eating trifles, eating trifles. 
pavlova and profiteroles are one and one and two of your dream desserts dave goodger never have had you pinned down as a pavlova or profiterole man as i said i put in the discord i thought you'd have been uh, the sort of person that would have fancied a bread and butter pudding i was gonna write spotted dick but then of course everyone would have been like Way! i mean they wouldn't have been because we've got like you know nice people in the discord but Good is a man with excellent taste. He is a man of excellent taste, but he's a man of also really bad taste and doesn't understand that things with mint in it are really, really good. Now, he said some horrible things about mint that he can't take back, but then he did say that he likes a cherry, bit, a cherry uh, crumble, so I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? So if Paul Potts said he liked rhubarb, then do you know what I mean? Th at least think about it, you know? There's, there's another bit for the out of context, TJ, isn't it? Like, what, what, what sort of chewing gum do you get, Dave? Do you get like blueberry flavored bubble gum? Cami Palmer with a wonderful gum. Do you still get like bubble gum, or can you have like mint, mint chewing gum? What, 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 what toothpaste have you got? Oh, my toothpaste tastes like chicken tikka. Fucking brilliant. I don't feel very fresh in the morning. I can't stand um, original sauce shower gel. So I, just use a, I just use a bar of soap. Dove. Mm. Mm. I do think as well, by the way. And, and I'm aware this is probably hack, hack comedy territory at this point. But I don't think the original sauce need to use as many mint leaves as they tell you in the bottles. Do you know what I mean? They're going on about like 30 odd thousand leaves in every single bottle. I reckon they can get away with just about like 10,000 leaves. Like even. Do you know what I mean? You don't need that many. Because if they're putting that many in, right? And then you've got to think as well that are we fucking overran by mint in the world? Because. If they're putting 30,000 leaves in every single bottle of their shower gel, what about all like, the shonky shower gels? You know, how much mint are they putting in? And then your toothpaste, and then your mint sauce, and then tree bore mints and that. So, theoretically, the entire surface of the earth must be made of mint. So we've had to harvest it. Mint, uh, original sauce is very mint. It is very, very mint. And then yeah, after it, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that is a very, very specific warning, Keeney, that it will damage your bell end. Yeah. Huge. Some of the race reference tree bobbins. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Soft, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why we're getting the 80s references in, Dave. Any idea? <laughs> a new stand up show based entirely on mint. Thing is, that would work in the Northeast if your show was just called Mint. You just stood there like. <laughs> Tony Jameson, mint. Got <laughs> oh, minted, and it's about my uh, my time at Linfield when I uh, turned heel and started started uh, started buying players. Huge with a hat trick. I think maybe we, oh, we stay we stay at Linfield, don't we? We totally stay. <laughs> Um, you mentioned umbongo there, Keeney, right? Now here's a drink for you. I get, a, get an umbongo with gin. A gin, a gin bongo. That's a drink and a half right there. I genuinely brought umbongo back one day.
we um, Mrs. J sent me to the to the shops once to get some uh, to get some mixer for gin, and, and I came back with a bongo. She went, like, "What the fuck have you brought a bongo back for?" I was like, "Surely gin and a bongo would make would would taste nice, and it does. It tastes very nice. So gin bongos is the way to go." Also, as well, um, and Mrs. J can back can confirm this that there is a, a person and I'm going to say it's a man right okay and the reason will become very very clear as to why I think it's a man there's a person man who lives in York whose car registration plate is Kiora not going to lie every time me and Mr J walk past it we both think that his car is far too orangey for crows and it's not it's silver right so don't know what he's playing at but we've never seen a crow next to his car so maybe he's the genius Just for me and my dog, exactly, Dan, exactly. Evening, I'll see. How are you, pal? Welcome in. Hope you're good. Is this other car a tango? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Do you remember when you were... Oh, here we we're literally turning into fucking Peter K here, aren't we? Which, of course, as you all know, I'm not a fan. Um... Um, where the fuck is cookie dough in your dessert list? I mean, it's it's not. This is Mrs. J's choices, I see. So at the minute, we have to uh, we have to pick the dessert for me to eat on the next stream. And so far, Black Forest Gow's winning. Uh, but Kyle Hewland, the man of the moment, hat trick for the big man, the big big man. You know when you've been tangled, yeah. The the prelude to happy slapping. Wasn't that you were just like running around in school and just whack people on the head? Just be like, oh, what's happening? I just, just tangled him. I know. Hang on. Nowadays, like, that's assault. I was pretty sure that's assault. Um, so, five points clear still. That makes it. We're going to be getting there. We're going to get there. Friendly ghosts in there. Remember the Ray Wilkins commentary for the advert? I do. Yes, I do. I say, oh, he's had him there. And then they do like a little replay, don't they? Some fat bloke in a shell suit smacks someone. What's this Lynn feel always been out of shadow? Shut up, Crusaders. What do you know? When I was a boy, Chalk Ice was a go to dessert. I fucking love a Chalk Ice Keeney. Yes. Chalk ices are, are they're they're elite. They're they're your top tier desserts. Like actually, well, they're not your top tier desserts, but you know what? You you don't feel sad having a chalk ice, do you? You can't. Do you know what I mean? Like, get, like someone's got some terrible news. Oh, you know, really sorry you've been you know evicted from your home. Your house has been repossessed or whatever. And, like made redundant. Job's over. Partners can walk out on you. It's like oh, yes. shit in it. And go yeah, but do you want a chalk ice? All of a sudden, you, there's a bit of perspective there, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? You sort of go, well, yeah, okay. Lama arrived directly with a chalk ice debate, classic TJ, no FM at all. Mate, Lama, we're sat, we're sat trying to smash down a, a pack of mince pies at the minute, so I've, I've done two so far. We're going to do some more as we go. How are you anyway? Um... Lama, sorry, that's the worst news possible on the bright side. Chalk ice. You know what? As a doctor, I think that would be that would be lovely. To be honest, if you did that, Rogi. Obviously, check that the person hasn't got a uh, some sort of lactose intolerance, because otherwise, that's you know, that's the thing. It's broken leg slap a chalk ice. Use the chalk ice to fuse the bone together and st strap it round. Um, we should, of course, shout out FM Lama. Um, because as as you've seen in the chat here, Llama is is the goat, right? Let's not beat around the bush here, okay? Llama was incredible on the uh, on the path to the playoffs. Uh, sorry, on the playoffs weekend. Sorry, this week. And you all need to go to and, and follow him on uh, on his YouTube. And you also need to go and follow the manager seat because he's making some amazing content, amazing content. And I definitely think that. 
you should go and give him some love. He'll be he'll be incredibly humble and say that you go and like follow somebody else and don't like do do that as well, right? But at the same time, it's uh, you know it's nice to sort of like tell Larmer he's good, right? Tell Larmer he's good. He's he's top tier, that man. Kev Carps really like the manager's dis Discord and content. There you go. See, there you go, Lama. Your fans are in here watching this now, so that's that's what it's all about. Glen Torren have dropped points. That's exciting. That is exciting. Welcome in, by the way, Kev. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, Tony, don't tell Lama he's good. Tell him he's a legend. Well, he is. He's, he is a legend. We, he's he needs to be turned. He needs to be rebranded as the FM Goat. To be honest, we're talking about trying to get that as an emote for uh, for the playoffs. But yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, the same ideas videos, excellent, isn't it, sports man? Just came out, yeah, I want to say yesterday, but it's uh, it is superb. Very entertaining he is as well. His little, you know, in terms of phrases and that. Looks like Scott Brown got the Hibs job. That's fine. That's fine. Let him, let him have it. The Hearts job's available now, though. So, see, play the long game. Slough. <gasps> we could go to Slough. I mean, they, it looks like they're about to get relegated out of the uh, the Van Ramen South, so that's not going to happen, sadly. Um, but that's probably what we need to look at, in fact. The Office FM. I know. It's 100% what we need to do. And then the plan would be to overtake Swindon. Overtake the Swindon lot, right? I mean, why has it not got Ver Wernham Hogg on the uh, as the sponsor? What are we doing, Slough? Training estate mainly. You know, we go to Chasers, we go to New York, New York. That's open until eleven. Um, could do that. Coventry would be pretty decent. Hearts look like they're they're seventh in the SPFL though, so they're not going down. Carlisle's nearly Scotland. That, yeah. I mean, they're in the Jambos as well, so, you know. Hearts is a decent shout. Coventry, West Brom. Forest Green are a nice club. They're going to go down into League Two. Now, the only problem is, now, what we need to do, okay, here's the thing, right? If we look at this, so, Papa John's, Pizza Cup, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, that's all we've got. So, we've got one cup and a promotion. So, that's two, potentially, right? Evening, Lewis, how are you, pal? What have we missed? Not a lot so far, not a lot so far. We Obviously, you may have missed, well, you saw the other day, what happened with the um, with the ending of the season with um, with, the, with the cups, so that wasn't that wasn't great. So we're coming towards the end of the actual league season now. So Scotland, we only appears we've got one cup in Scotland for Hearts. So that's a bit worrying. Mr. James's morally good adventure to cleanse the stink of the million pound era. I mean, I'm not a hundred percent against. We could keep the save. We could keep that save file, couldn't we? To be honest, you know, Stockport could be an idea. They could, but again, it's what we've got to do is we've got to think of what can we win and what's available to us. Do you know what I mean? So, the Carabao Cup, we're not going to win that. The Pizza Cup, yeah, we'd obviously aim for that. And they got to the semi finals. Stockport could win the Pizza Cup and still go down. Stockport's not a bad shout, actually. Pizza Cup and two promotions. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pizza Cup for, uh, for Coventry. Uh, Black Forest Gatto won the uh, won the poll, Mrs. J. So we'll get ourselves we'll get we'll get ourselves a Sarah Lee Gatto. You need a relegated team somewhere. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what we're going to do is so we're going to look at these League One sides dropping into the into the League Two, 
or we're going to look into teams dropping into further down. Um, who's win the League Cup? I'll give you a clue. They're playing green at the top of League One. Is that Plymouth? Plymouth going to win the uh, the Pizza Cup, are they? That's a bold statement. I mean, they might do actually. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Altrincham's there again, Rogie. But then, what have they got? They're twenty fourth in the National League North. There's like the FA Trophy, the FA Cup. Where's the FA Vars? Who's? Where's the? F, is the FA Vars still a thing? Have I made that up? Concentrate on League One, not the Pizza Cup. Yeah, but then we need to win the Pizza Cup as well. That's the thing, isn't it? Mm. Even Riverside, how are you, pal? Large Samuel Cosgrove will do it all. Vars is down the FA Trophy. That, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, West Brom. Only the FA Cup and Carabao. FA Vars is now the FA Florist's Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Someone that has a decent local dish of parmo from Borough, the Killy Pie. FA Vars is for step nine sides. Is it? Okay. You know what? I wouldn't be against Forest Green, you know. I know it means going into potentially League Two. But. But they're a good club, right? Franchino, welcome in. This is the British Steel Challenge, so the plan is to try and win. As Rogie just put there, sorry. Uh, the plan is to try and win every single trophy available in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Um, at the minute, we've won four trophies out of uh, out of thirty four, and we're in season six, so we're about to finish our season in Northern Ireland. We're trying to work out where our next step's going to go. We think it's going to be Scotland, but. Let's face it, we have an idea that we're probably going to end up in England. Whether I want to or not. Because that's where the job's going to come out. So, uh, Francino, appreciate the follow-up. That's very, very kind. Thank you for that. Um, oh yeah, We all know I'm going to end up there, aren't I? Hydrating's a good shout, Dan. Of course, Matete went, didn't he? Mm. That was a weird one, wasn't it? That's a weird one. <laughs> I think it might be Scotland, Motherwell, and Aberdeen collectively holds its breath. <laughs> Aldringham jobs available. Chester is available. A club that have previously gone out of business. Newport County, they're technically Wales, right? Technically? Yeah. Full time in the Carabao Cup games. The city's gone out, have they? Newport County are about to drop. Is it too soon for the lower leagues? I think so. I think so, Muro. I don't really want to go to England just yet. Um. Because I don't think there's anything to really win there. If we've got a League 2, Gillingham. Yeah. Like, I think, I, I still think Scotland's the way to do it. But, it's that thing, isn't it? Do we just, if, if the right club comes up, then we go, right, is there something to win? Like a Coventry, like, is Coventry the worst? Another year at Linfield. <laughs> Friendly ghost knows. Friendly ghost knows. Um, like Coventry's are not, a, are not a bad shout, are they? 13th, so they're going to be stabilised. They're not going down. You won the job hunt because you won the league. Evening, United City. How are you, sir? Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, we haven't won the league yet, but we are. We are thinking about it 
thinking about where we go next. Not Coventry, please. It's Jimmy Hill. That's not Jimmy Hill anymore. I mean, that's potentially Mike Ashley, isn't it? Which would be great because that would anger a load of Newcastle fans as well. Go, Mike Ashley. But Mike Ashley was a terrible owner. And he wasn't. Do you know what I mean? He wasn't. He wasn't, Tristan. You know that. You know, you still have a football club. You were never on the verge of administration, right? So he wasn't a terrible owner. Um, Coventry, the Coventry have got Hummel kits, right? There you go. That's a plus point, okay? Um, I would prefer, I would prefer to go to Scotland. These jobs are going to come up anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, do a quick trip and win the Ukraine League. <laughs> Just tag in for, uh, tag in for Kev. Um, that's the thing, Riverside. Isn't it? We can jump into to England whenever, really. Our reputation is not going to go too low if we go to Scotland. Is it worth? Okay, is it worth? Hear me out here. Is it worth applying for the Hearts job just to get a bit of an idea as to where we are? Because that's kind of the top level, you know. And we haven't got any promises to not apply for jobs at the minute so that could be an option what badges do i need now or what badges do i have i've got because yeah you might be able to explain this to me better i've got where do i find my badge i'm on a national b so i'm on a one and a half star rep so i'm properly chancing my uh chance in my arm here i I think we get laughed out of the building at this point. It's one and a half star. They're a three star club. Won't get hearts with that. Yeah. Linfield to hearts. Celtics in a team with open arms. Well, yeah, we, we've moved. We've moved clubs a few times, Lama. That's why. <laughs> that's also been a bit of a bit of a problem. Um, what's the expectation? They're expected to finish fourth. So that's. So it's not like I'm jumping into like the bottom of the SPL either. I mean, here's our, here's our, here's where we want to be, right? We want to be, want to be a St. Mirren. Let's make that happen. <coughs> Slow it in League Two. The water's lovely. It is. It is. To be honest. Oh no worries, there, Lyrics. Appreciate the uh, the raid. Thank you very much for that. Take it easy. Catch you soon. Hopefully, we'll give you another shout out there. Um. Yeah. Make sure you go and follow. Uh. Aerolax. Um Hibs of course already gone. Hearts. I think I think Hearts is a little bit too high for us. Personally. St Johnston is potentially gonna come up. Inverness Cali could be another option. Um and it's all about trying to get some decent things. So see SPFL Trust, Scottish Cup third round. To all who who competes in the SPFL, we're not we're not uh, we're not top flight. Okay, that makes sense. So anyone can can be into the SPFL. So like Berwick are there, Dundee reserves. Right, Scottish Championship works for me though. I'm alright with that. I'm okay. The Scottish Championship. I've got no no concerns there. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Let's keep our eyes peeled because there's nothing just yet. Mate downloaded Moz's database, start with no badges, two seasons with Darvel, got the Hibs job. You apply. Thing is, is that, again, it's, could we win, could we win a cup? Is the Aberdeen job available? Aberdeen don't have a reserves club. They don't, they don't even have a, a proper club. I think, Lama's making a good point here. Two star reps is the best we can go for. Keep pestering the uh, the boards for coaching badge. Shall I do that now, do you reckon? Try and get a new coaching badge. Can we get it done before we leave? We can get Forest Green or Stockport. Yeah, yeah, 100%. They, they, that should be fairly easy, I think. Oh, okay. Right now we can now we can afford to fall out fall out with the club. 
can't afford to be regularly absent from training. Okay, fair enough. It's just at the uh, just come at the wrong time. You know, can I leave now? We're in the really important part of our season. No, no, you need to be here all the time. Or another season in field. I mean, look, friendly. I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Do you have the option to re remonstrate. Yeah, I can. I can kick off, but. I think we all know that's gonna <laughs> we're gonna end up getting sacked, and I don't want to get sacked over uh, over that. Well, declare an interest in either job. I mean, the thing is, also, I don't. So, so declaring an interest in in a job is is probably fine, but I don't want to destabilize the club at this point when we are coming into the final parts of the season like let's just look we need this we need this trophy right we can't go kicking about and being silly and let's get let's get that done and then we can start working from there as to what we need to do right yes tomo how are you buddy 13 months in welcome back hope life's treating you good man do it when the uh, when the league's been won. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's a good a good thing. See what the reputation looks like at that point. Gavin Brash is in. Actually, winning the league is a good shout. It's it's crazy, isn't it, Kev? Like some of the things that these people want us to do is just ridiculous. But hey, sometimes we do it for them, right? That's the way we look forward to it. Mr. Brash, how are you, sir? Welcome in, buddy. Tony and Trophy's blasphemous. Exactly, exactly. You know, what, what do these people want? What do these people want? I don't know. And if I did know, I wouldn't give it to them. As you all very well know. Life is good, Tomo. Life is very good. I've got a bit of a, a bit of a, a chest infection thing going on at the minute, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But you want seconds, yeah. I know you do. I know you do. But you're not, you're, not, you're not bloody getting them. Not tonight, anyway. Not tonight. Not on my watch. Maybe later. Um, this this tune's a bit too melancholy, isn't it? Let's see, can we boost it up a bit? This is a uh, this is classed as dreamy and restless, apparently. So, uh, did you see in real life who Crawley managed to poach for their manager today? I haven't actually. Know who they got? Gav is uh, finishing up with Among Us. Oh, yeah, the Among Us, of course, is happening, isn't it? Salty, Owen, Wald, Alice, Tim, Eloise, Tim's girlfriend, of course, as well. Very, very stabby, stabby, stabby murder. They all love it. All the playoffs lot. They all, they all get on the Among Us chat, play around. I haven't. I haven't done it. I've got this to try and get through. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Ports the Swindon manager and his staff. Well, th there you go. See, now, was it was, did they poach him or did they, uh, the Crawley job, did they like, you know, assimilate that branch? That's the thing. Other than money, they don't even have crypto nonsense. Oh, are they crypto nonsense? You don't want that. You don't want crypto nonsense. Swindler didn't respect him. Exactly, Nomadic Striker, yeah. Same with Kev earlier since the addition of Minecraft. The playoffs gaming group is growing exponentially. It really is. It really is. Uh, I've been led to believe from a reliable source that Tim Lewis spent last night just making a massive cock on Minecraft and then uh, proceeded to introduce it to his girlfriend and say, look, look what I've done. And she went, you've just made a cock. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yep, that's what I've done. <laughs> so he's done what anybody in that situation would do. You go, can I make a cock? Ian um, and George, how are you, sir? Welcome in. We are nudging our way, nudging our way towards the title. We've got some, we've got some mince pies with us. We've, uh, we've got your um, channel point redemption things on the, uh, in the, uh, in the viewer, viewer notes now as well. So, I can recommend the, recommend the next dessert for the TJ stream. So, Mrs. J's cashed in already. She's gone for, a, for a Black Forest Gatto. If you're interested, George. So, there you go. Oh, we love, we do love, we do love Mr. Lewis. He's a, he's a wonderful human being. One year ago today, says a uh, friendly. I was at the Majay ski watching us put seven past Reading. There you go. I don't know where I was a year ago. Probably here, to be honest, doing 
Probably, probably struggling on Football Manager, I'm guessing. Colo Torre at Wigan feels like a strange one, doesn't it? You know? Beacon or Sullivan pings it. It was murder ball this time last year. Oh, that was that was fun. That was fun. That was fun, actually. Beacon's got himself in a knock. Bring you off then. Colo Wigan will be fine if he gets time. He probably will be, to be honest. He probably will, but... But uh, I think Joel's right. It feels very much like a, an FM appointment. It feels very much like they've, they've tried to approach Yaya when Colo was answered. And they just went, hello? <laughs> they went, we'll speak to you then. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I have seen the Super League draw, Kev, and it's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. So... Quickly fill you in on this one, folks. Friday night, I'm going to be competing in the, in the FM Super League. Now, I've won this before, okay, so let's just, you know, let's put this out there at the start of any conversation. As a former Super League winner, right, and I believe a beaten finalist as well, actually, I think I got to the, to the final the, the season after. Um, it's going to be tough, right? It's going to be tough because my group, is Stick Piano, okay, now, love Stick, Stick's great, I've beaten Stick before, okay, so, he's in there, right, we've got Grimmy, I love Grimmy, love him to bits, he is my nemesis, I've never beaten Grimmy, he always somehow manages to just get that 1-0 win against me, don't know how he does it, don't know how he does it, but he's just, he knows how to grind the result out. I think he's just about, I think he's got the measure of me, or I haven't got the measure of him. Either way, it'll be super tight, there'll be one goal in it. And then, I've, and then I take on my boy RDF Tactics, who I've never drafted against, I don't think. I don't think I've ever drafted against him. Um, so that's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing, because as Kev says, if we beat RDF somehow, I take over the tactics garage on the Athletic Podcast. <laughs> I mean, Rich Owens has beaten RDF, so he is beatable. He is beatable. You know, it's going to be great fun. And then in the other group as well, of course, you've got Mozza, you've got Ali, you've got Gavin Brash, and um, and you've got I must have the other person as well. I saw Gav earlier. Who else is in? Don't forget. I have to try and pull it up again, aren't I? This is embarrassing. I did it perfectly the other day. Still kind of brash. Grimmy. I'm sure. Hood Gaming, of course. How can I forget Hood Gaming? So, yeah, it's pretty stacked field. It's basically people who've won it before, to be honest. So, uh, it's a bit of an invitation this time. So, it's going to be going to be heavy, right? Uh, draft pool is La Liga and Serie A. So, should be pretty handy. I'm looking forward to that. But I think there's going to be a bit of a scrabble uh, for certain players. I think I'm drafting third. I think I'm third in draft pool. So, great ball for Kinsella just over the top. Just Serie A then. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. And, and some of Palermo, I think. Um, but to be fair, there's not much, there's not a great deal in La Liga, really. But um, I think what we might do as well, I don't know if you've noticed, there's been some uh, some tactical involvement on the uh, athletic podcast recently as well. Um, maybe trying to draft in some extra extra help there from uh, from some external sources going like, what? what would a tactic look like, maybe? If you've ever seen a tactic before, what would be a... Um, Mm, what, would, what would what would you think? Um, oh yeah, yeah. There's loads of sneaky picks, Rogi. I'm trying to underplay it. I'm trying to underplay it. Um, we will absolutely need some scouts. A15. So yes, dive into any draft database and try and pick up whatever you can find, and we'll uh, we'll see what we got. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. 
So it'll be uh, something a bit different. So we'll draft on Friday and we'll have the, uh, the actual games on Sunday. Glen Torren are becoming the nemesis, aren't they? They really are. If we can keep them at arm's length, that'll be fine. They're going to score here, aren't they? We know they're going to score here. Anyway, we actually won the first cup we won. We actually beat Glen Torrent, so so that's fine. We'll we'll take that. But so that keeps us six points clear of Larn. Keeps us twelve points clear of Linfield. They've got three games in hand, so that's nine points. Right. Okay. And there's five games left. So hopefully. As long as Glen Torren drop more points in their games in hand, I think we should just about get over the line. I think, I hope, Glen Torax. <laughs> yeah, Glen, Glen, Glen Cock and Balls, am I right? Yeah, am I right? All, all bloody Glen Bunch of Bastards over there. Yeah, them lot, them lot. Yeah, you heard. Um, but yeah, can we also say as well, by the way, we've got Lara in the chat, who of course was excellent during the uh, during the playoffs weekend. Got, got Kev the United sitting in the chat as well. A man who as well was absolute top tier, by the way. He's so good at, at, um, at comms, being on the panel, backup host. He's just, just the nicest man in, in, in the world. Appreciate your popper too. Appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. And also as well, if you haven't followed Football Manager Therapy, how not? Because you've obviously been following me for a while. Go and follow. Go and follow Football Manager Therapy. Go and listen to it. The latest episode's really, really good. Really good. Came out on Tuesday. Came out on Monday if you're a Patreon, by the way. Um, you can be a Patreon for as little as £1 a month. So that's definitely worth a look at as well. Uh, FMT pod on patreon so yeah go and check that one out and also as we say there full manager show released today so jump on that myself and rdf tactics doing our thing talking to the cult of jack uh, jack sayers uh, from sports interactive having a chat with him today which was really interesting really interesting talking about three at the back systems we have a bit of a, a tactical sort of like masterclass with him we had a uh, him and cj ramson on just before christmas doing a uh, sort of looking at the beginners level so going in learn how to make the perfect uh, christmas tree formation today was what we classed as intermediates so we're looking at uh, 352 and then next um next week spoiler alert we're looking at the advanced tactical understanding and it's going to be asymmetrics so that could be quite good fun Understanding Dave, not just chucking players randomly. Embrace the madness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Burnley, Premier League, though, isn't it? They're a three and a half star team. We're not going to get. We're not going to get that one. No, I, th I thought I thought you find it interesting, Dave, because obviously last year was last year's asymmetry was about finding holes in the match engine, and I don't think this year's asymmetry is. So it'll be interesting to sort of like to listen to it and just sort of see what how the game works this year compared to it. So it'll be interesting to see because I've not used asymmetry this year, but there's sort of like moments when we had a bit of a chat off camera about some stuff, and I was just like. I used to do such and such and then Jack was just like yeah 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 I was like oh okay cool right good I thought all right fine that's that's got my head ticking um so yeah so something might still work which I'm which I'm happy about 
Uh, Kev says, I had the United the Football Manager show on my list of listens this evening, but with you live, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. That's, you know what, Kev, that reminds me, sorry, I needed to say this. Um, on Football Manager Therapy this week, they were talking about, um, about what they've been watching, what they've been getting into, what's the, uh, what, what content have they enjoyed recently? And Kev, the lovely man that he is, has said that he's been sat in our streams quite a bit and enjoys just this late night conversation. So really nice of you. Appreciate that, Kev. Very, very kind indeed for you to say that you're uh, you're having fun over here. So it was uh, it was much appreciated. So thank you, sir, for that. He's a good egg, isn't he? He's a good egg, is uh is our Kev. Oh, did not want to see that. Did not want to see that. Oh, hello, Colin Donnelly. Oh, you look like a decent player, don't you? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's... That's a thing. I think he's going wherever we go. I mean, the one more year thing is impossible, right? <laughs> Because the thing is, we haven't won all of the trophies in Northern Ireland just yet, right? That we can win at this level. Um, so there is, there'll still be some possible thinking that, you know, maybe we could do a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking for the sake of talking here, aren't I? Um, <laughs> everywhere you go, always take the Donnelly with you. Yes. <laughs> I was promised the league title. I'll get to the league title. Sorry, Kev. I'll get to the league title. Don't worry. Should try and win that first. The question is, by the way, there is a question in the um, in the stream title that says, can we win the title? So you weren't promised a league title. Late night title win. We'll do that. We'll do that. Pies have gone to his head. <laughs> if we don't win, we won't be able to stay. That's a good point, actually. Zaya. Yeah, yeah. We're leaving either way, aren't we? Really. Either we, uh, either we go of, of our accord or their accord. We're playing Cliftonville, who are fourth. So keep your eyes peeled for Glen Torrent as well. Okay. Are we leaving though? I don't know, Dan. I don't know. These are these are all things like like you can't leave without a club to go to, surely, can we? But that the thing. And maybe do we not have like a charity shield or something we need to win? Possibly if we win the league. Is there not like that? Does that count? Southampton versus Newcastle, Wolves versus Man United. I mean, I'd take Man United beat Newcastle at Wembley. I think that would be quite funny. It's Forest versus that. They've changed the draw already. Oh. Wolves lost on penalties. Wow. Plus, can Forest buy a new team in, in January as well? They probably can, can't they? <laughs> then it's so can Newcastle, of course. Uh, with their not owned by the Saudi Arabian government uh, ownership. You know, them in WWE. So, you know, I'm very much looking forward to seeing Roman Reigns sign, uh, sign for Newcastle in the, uh, in the January window. Great for the small teams in the semis. Exactly. You know, little, little clubs that haven't won anything. Um, I mean, leaving. Yes, C, we, I, all the above. <laughs> 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 
You abuse those power. You abuse those powers. Will you? Sullivan with an effort. WWE stuff has been mad, but I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all, Kev. They've been out there for a few years, haven't they? So, obviously, uh, Vince McMahon was tipped to buy Newcastle years ago as well. So, again, it just seems like one of those like things that don't really sort of come as a surprise. Yeah, Stephanie went this morning, didn't she? Or sort of late last night, I should say. All the top for Evans. Yeah, Glenn Torren look like they've they snuck into the top three. Glenn Torren are beating Glenn Avon. Jeff Beck's just died, really? I mean, first of all, we've got Andreas Schelder up as reportedly snubbed Liverpool in favour of Benfica, who are getting done for match fixing. Love that. That's amazing. Um, oh, shit. And now Jeff Beck. Oh, dear. It's not good. Oh. That's true as well. I wonder if you'd like to see me eat a Black Forest Gato in his honour. I'm sure he probably would, right? We're 1-0 down to Clifton. <laughs> Nice old sports man. <laughs> Shit. We can't throw this away. We, 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 know, we know we can. We know we can. We shouldn't. Please don't. And then again, we uh, we do get another year then, right? Palmer. Evans. Yes. Silly contracted meningitis. Yeah, meningitis can be nasty. Great pass by Palmer, isn't it? Evans in behind. He's tiring as well, so he's going to get brought off, so he's not going to get the full match, but... That's the latest score. Glenn Torrance still 1-0 up against Glenn Avon. Bring... Uh, Evans off, actually. Bring Scannell on.
go up forest green and ask the board to relocate to Scotland. I think they might do that, you know, because they, if they are vegan and they are ethical, we might be able to say, look, you know, there's like cleaner air in Scotland than that, and it's like, you know, further away from the equator, and, you know, we can get more things, vegetables sourced, you know, catch some like vegetarian haggises in the hills. They might do it, you never know. So we've got the final league game of the first half of the season, first stage of the season. Away to Warren Point, wearing white and red. Scotland is hardly vegan. There's parts of it that are vegan. Parts of it, right? Veggie haggis isn't great. See, I've heard mixed reports on it, Rogie. I've heard the... I've heard it, some of it's meant to be all right. Some people say that vegetarian haggis is meant to be lovely, but it's a very small sample size, I must admit. I've not heard many people say they've even tempted veggie haggis, because then again, down here, you don't hear many people say they've eaten normal haggis. I sort of look at you and go like, Ooh, what? Good ball. Oh, Sullivan pulls it back. I think this might be a... Might be a, a, a game for Hughes, actually, to be honest. Vegetarian slice is good. See, there you go. See, that would make sense. That would make sense. Veggie haggis is rotten. Veggie black pudding is great. Oh, Duffy, how have you missed that one? I mean, see, that's the bit that I find weird. How would you make a veggie haggis pudding? Because surely it's all meant to be like blood and stuff, isn't it? Like a blood pudding. And the haggis supper is, is elite. That's like the top level right there. Bad haggis chips. Get it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, Rogan. Get it, Edinburgh salt and sauce. All right. Or if you're in Glasgow, get a bit of brown sauce on it. Looking banging. Cold iron brew to wash it down with you. Oh, you'll be dead by Tuesday. Brilliant. Haggis supper and half a pizza crunch. Now you're talking. With a deep fried um, cabbage cream egg. Or deep fried curly whirly. Duffy! There's your Friday. Yeah, exactly. There's a, there's a shop at the bottom of the... Uh, on the grass market in Edinburgh that will batter any chocolate bar that's uh, on display. So def I would definitely recommend a, a battered curly whirl. It just melts straight away. Okay. Franchino, no worries at all. In you go, in you go. We'll see you soon, we're back. Friday we'll be drafting. Um, Sunday we'll be uh, we'll be doing, doing some PvP, but we'll be back in between there, I'm guessing. Maybe sad, we'll see. Uh, I have heard of deep fried skills, Rogi. I've not tried them myself, but I have heard of them as a thing. Calamari, nearly, nearly. Uh, yeah, a battered cream egg. I've had a battered cream egg before. I imagine a battered caramel egg would just be like horrific. Duffy! Duffman gets the goal. 20 minutes in, 2 0 up against Warren Point. What's the score from Glen Torren? Nil-nil against Cliftonville. Oh, definitely food related. Definitely food related. Good job. Cadam Archery's through. Oh. I, yeah, I have, I have definitely heard of it. I've definitely heard of deep fried skills, but I've not. Not tried them myself. Must have it. Great ball from Kinsella. Cadam Archery's onside. Tucks it home. 3 0 to Linfield. 1 0 to Glen Torren now. So that keeps us seven points clear. Let's assemble a food 11. The rules are simple. Real players only. I'll start with a Ben Pringle. Okay, Jamal Lowe's snubbed Sunderland to join QPR. Interesting, interesting. Mark Fish is a really good shout, really good shout, chat. Uh, yes, 
yes, water indeed. Mikasen, oh, I was going for uh, Kadamatri's head there. <laughs> Dominic sausages from <laughs> Leipzig, yeah, 100%, 100%. Uh, Kevin Lasagna, yeah. there you go, there's one. Right there. Ruben Loftus cheek. Oh, oh, it's good, George. It's good. That's really, that's really good. I take it they're all going on there. Uh, Frank LeBeuf. Yes. There's got to be a player called Curry somewhere. Sure, John Terry's chocolate orange. <laughs> Olivia Skips. Yeah. Connor Salmon. Tony Curry, yeah. I'm counting salmon because it sounds like salmon when said. Yeah, exactly, yeah. What's my Twitch goal for 2023, Lewis? Um, interesting one, that one, I don't know. Like, I think we'd like to be pushing towards partner, if we can get that. Like, our average views are creeping up quite nicely, so. We're doing pretty decently there. Um, I think that we just keep having fun, to be honest. Keep building a nice community. Keep the saves entertaining. Keep the streams entertaining. I guess that's all you all you want, really, isn't it? People keep coming back. That's the that, that's the goal for this year for Twitch. As every year. And also, I should probably uh, have a goal to um, start clipping some of the stuff from the stream and making it shareable for, like, YouTube and uh, Twitter and even Lama's told me I need to look into TikTok. So there you go. There's a the thing. That'll happen. Uh, Barry Banana Man. Maybe Baba Raman. That's a good one. That's a really good one, Jord. Oh, A15. Um, Dave Goodger would hate Scott Minto because, you know, the whole mint thing. Um, Patrick Berger was a good shout as well, by the way. I can't believe we missed that one. Uh, Benito Carbonara. Ooh. Evening Ultra, how are you, buddy? Start streaming a blow up pool and your nine your skivvies will be in your partner in no time. Maybe, maybe that's the thing, yeah. Maybe I need to get some. You're not allowed your nips out, are you? So if I put like a couple of plars over my nipples, and then I'll just be like, you know, be alright. Nacho Fernandez. Nacho Fernandez is a good one as well, actually. Sorry, I, must, I did miss that, I'm afraid. Sorry, George. Um, Is there not a player like called Shepherd's Pie or something? Or it must be a player called Chips. I'm guessing. Philippe Lam, yes. Oh, <laughs> it's gone in somehow. Have a look at this chat, see what you think. The ball's up in the air forever. Clip it if we can. Mikasen gets it in. Kadamatri off the defender. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Oh, big Matt McGraw. Family are good, thanks, Ultra. Thanks for family. Very, very good. We're all having a, having a lovely time. To us. Per Aberdeen called Duck. Uh, there's also that, that um, the uh, Turkish player. You know, I, mean, I don't know if, if cannibalism is allowed, but uh, two guys. Create that. And then there's a uh, Yanis Haggis, isn't there? At, uh, at Rangers. Dwight Yorkie, yeah. Or if you're incredibly poor, Andrew Cole. Robin Cock is allowed. <laughs> Evening Supersonic Jane, how are you? Welcome and appreciate the follow. Barry Venison says Mrs. Jane. There you go. 
Love it. I mean, does does Bastian Schweinsteiger count? Because his name does translate to pig farmer. Super Saiyan Jane, don't use Twitch more, seeing YouTube stuff. Keep up the good work, fella. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I need to do more. I've li you've literally, I've literally just been saying I need to do more new YouTube stuff. I need to get my Sunland save back up on, on there. I need to get this thing edited and get that put up on there as well. Because, um, yeah, we're in season six now, and I think we've only got season two. Uh, maybe even season three. That would be season two, actually. Up on air. Uh, up on uh, up on YouTube, so but I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the content. Always a pleasure to have people in. So welcome across here. We stream, as you'll know, uh, if you've been watching YouTube, we stream three nights a week: Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we are getting towards the end of. If you're watching the YouTube stuff, just uh, you know, you don't use this as a spoiler just yet but we are getting very very close to potentially winning a title with Linfield I think it looked like Glenn Torren dropped points there did they yes they did they drew with Cliftonville so we're currently nine points clear of Linfield they've got two games in hand before the league splits right let's see what we can do shall we evening Hornets Fred how are you Welcome in, welcome in. Danny Drinkwater. Yes, Danny Drinkwater does count. Hard key on top of it, to be fair, but stuff's good. No, I appreciate you, appreciate you. Very, very kind. Thank you very much. Also played PFM for years. Never heard the games in sounds. I mean, this is the thing, right? So we don't... So I've always had the sounds on when we streamed, just because I figured that it makes for a more immersive experience, I suppose, in a sense. But when I'm playing at home, I don't have the sounds on. And when I play on a laptop, I don't have the sounds on. Like, it's just not a thing, is it? Barry Fry up is amazing, by the way, Mr. J. Well done. Absolutely well done. Superb work. Hang on. This says board's initial budgets. We're not getting the... Uh, we're not getting the title just yet, are we? We can't be, because there's only... There's still going to be three games left, surely. 38 games. Five games to go. Title race is getting close. Can we do it? Can we do it? 44 grand a week and a transfer budget of half a million. All right, this, this is basically the thing. What are we doing with the names? So the names is basically we're trying to get a, a food-related... Um, Football 11, our actual players. You've qualified for the Champions League. <laughs> I can't believe we've done that. <laughs> Eat a fry up on stream. <laughs> that that could be a thing. We could do that. Clubs in Northern Ireland release youth players. That's all well and good, that, but look at that man. We've already we've already got European football. There's still a bit. We haven't won it yet, Rogi. Not just yet. There's five games to go. We're at the league split point now. So I got a little bit, a little bit confused, a little bit excited when they showed us how things were. Yap spam. <laughs> uh, that'll work. That'll work. Um, yeah. So we've got. We're into that Peter Crouch potato. Yes, yes. How many beans can you eat in a minute with a cocktail stick? I mentioned that one. Uh, Jordan is one of your personal favourites, so that could be a thing. Glenn Torren have just won that job there. So, uh, well, that job, that league there, sorry. Nacho Monreal is a great one. And now I know for a fact Mrs. J is downstairs going, Nacho Monreal, I want to be Nacho Monreal. I know for a fact she's doing that. So if she's still in the chat, she'll she'll reply straight away and go, yeah, I am doing it, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Massimo Macaroni, yes, Massimo Macaroni Pie. Peter Stilton, yeah. Uh, St. Johnston job's available. I don't think we're going to get it. It's a three-star, eh? But it does look... Let's see that. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Danny Welkbeck. <laughs> Welk. It's not very often that you'd hear, you'd hear Welk advertised on stream, would it? Uh, particularly here. Uh, Gateshead. Go, go back down. Dumbarton is potentially uh, coming up. They're having a terrible time of it. Awful time of it. They're going in, they're going down in the league one. I don't need I don't need to be in the league two, do I? That's probably a little bit too low, I think. I feel. Declan Fried Rice, yep. Yeah. We do have to win them all, George, you're right, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, if I'm coming in, having just qualified for Champions League football, if I come into Scottish League 2, they're going to be like, you left the Champions League for this? I'm like, yep, yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. And there is part of me wondering why I'm potentially thinking about leaving Champions League football behind, even though it's not part of our, part of our remit. League two of the team just relegated gives you a good chance of a title and the pizza cup. Yeah. Swindon. Swindon lot, right? This could be our chance to prove the Swindon lot don't seem to respect us. Papa John's FA Cup. Carabao. Tony confesses his big dream. What was what, what, <laughs> dare I ask what my big dream was? Let's have a look. Downstairs going Nacho Monreal. I want to be Nacho Monreal. Downstairs going Nacho Monreal. <laughs> Appreciate you, Rogi. <laughs> yeah, be a cheeky scamp, yeah. Uh, yeah, night night sports man. Pleasure having you in, buddy. Uh, they finished eighth in League One. So they're not actually, they could potentially get promoted. Expected to finish 12th. Matuza Lara, appreciate the follow. Very kind, thank you for that. Yeah, night night Rista. Who's their manager left for? Uh, John Joe O'Toole, he's got, he went to Coventry. He's a two-star manager, you see. What's the thing? Is there anything that we need to worry about? Finances are secure. Two and a half star rep. I mean, they don't have a they don't have a link up with Slough. That's. Or Dundee. And it looks like Dundee are going to get relegated. Potentially. St. Johnson already have. Scotland, the plan is, the plan is Scotland next year. Suppose with St Johnston we'd be expected to win the league straight away, wouldn't we? So the wicket should be a reason not to. It's not great, is it? It's not great. <laughs> in the bin, in the bin, yeah. Um, also after this week in the comedy industry, yeah. Anything with a, anything with bin and it shouldn't really happening. So um, Inverness Cali are still there. That, that's a possibility. Their kits are shit though, aren't they? That, that one's not too bad, but 
replacing Steve Clark as well would be a thing, right? Championship. Johnson would be a better state than Cali finances wise or an only professional club with a J something like that <laughs> yeah I mean they are they are full time aren't they Clack Newton and Nairn County I mean, we, we do get the chance to do the Super Cali, go, for, go, for, go Ballistic, if that happens. Or Dundee, either or. Inverness, Caledonian, Jameson, yeah. It's possible, it's possible. We can always rustle up new kits there, <laughs> there's also that. Or we, or we can just make some new kits. Um, Swindon, we've already talked out talked ourselves out of super cali go ballistic Celtic they were atrocious that was the one that was the one i'm sure you're fine mrs james sure you haven't got what we've got up here so you'll be all right if we have got it then it's off your parents and you know it is <laughs> go full healer for uttering that line mm -hmm. Five games left. Five games. Inverness Cali's available. Exactly. We're gonna. We're not going right now. We'll apply for it. We're gonna. We'll wait until the end of the season. If they want us to do it, we can. We can just walk. We can walk and we can uh, waive the. Waive the compensation. Dumbarton is, is just too low down. I think that'll just absolutely uh, sink our rep. Oh, the kits are stunning. The kits are so nice. That's classy, and that's just like a, a mint Scotland kit. Um, I think going into League Two at this point is going to be like dropping all the way back down. You know, so where where is the Scottish? Because you can't go from like yeah, you can't go from winning the the, the, the title to. To Scottish second division, Dumbarton were the first ever winners of the Scottish first division. Oh, d don't! I know you got to win. Yeah, you got to win. Win it at some point. We have to win everything. We have to win everything. Is it worth playing in the Champions League? I mean, the, you you make a pot as well. Yes and yes and no. Like. Yes, we could play in the Champions League, but it doesn't really matter because we we the Champions League isn't going to be part of our remit. Um, that's exactly it. That's exactly it, Lama. Rajul said there, why don't we go to Scottish League 2 now? We've got to win it at some point. It's true. It's true. Um, and then Lama's point there is, it's finding a club that gives you a strong chance of trophies. The favourites for Scottish League 2 is better move than relegation following the Premiership. 100% agree. 100% agree. Because, theoretically, we should be able to get promoted again. And it is that thing. And this is why, we, this is why we're looking at it going, what? 
what trophies can we win? That's why I was looking around going, right, what league are we going to have more chance of trophies in as well, actually? That's why I thought Scotland was better. Because if we go to somewhere like, for example, let's click Gateshead, right? Let's say they get relegated next season, okay? Into the National League. Well, realistically, there's the FA Trophy, the FA Cup, and that's it, right? So you've got one trophy, right? Two if you're going to do the league as well, okay? And you're not going to win the league. Because look how many teams there are. It's going to be hard to do both, right? Um, so we need to look at trying to get some more trophies just chipped off because of the fact we haven't got that many. Like, you know, so if we go for, so even if we go for Dundee, for example, right? They're 11th in the, in the, premier, in the Premiership. They get relegated in the Championship. They're, one of the, they're going to be one of the favourites to go up, surely, right? So in that division, you look at what they've, what they've played. SPFL Trophy, Scottish League Cup, Premier Sports Cup. So there's a couple of there's a couple of things in there, you know what I mean? Like so Scottish Championship Club probably is a good shout if we can get there. Your reputation will prove a half a star if you win a trophy. Yeah, exactly exactly, exactly. This is what it's all about. It's all about winning those things. So we're gonna keep our eye on Dundee as well, because I think if they drop down, then there's a few competitions to to go for. And also then we have that sort of like that um that sort of like security that this is a better club in that division it's not always about what's the best club to go for is it that's the problem mm -hmm. So we're in for St Johnston as well. Because again, they'll drop down. No, then we might sort of like be like, right, bounce around for a little bit, go and try and find the next the next job after that. So just because we get promoted into the SPFL, for example, it doesn't mean we have to stay there because we're not going to win the league with that team the next season and that's what and that's what it's all about it's about thinking smart hence why we went to Linfield like the, the thing was we went to Linfield because we're like theoretically we should win trophies here you know we went to Dungannon based purely on the fact that we had we had a final to play so we're like right we've got to go and do that we have to be stupid not to. You know, we moved to, to um, we moved to Portadown because we thought there was more chance of trophies there than Banbridge. We were wrong, of course, but you know, we we played it really badly, and it just didn't happen. And also, Dave, wouldn't it be class if for the entire of this uh, FM twenty three cycle we never heard the Champions League music? Like, I I qualified for it and still never managed in it. For some reason, I think that would be like the just absolute peak Tony Jameson like SI have gone to all that trouble to strike a deal to to have like sort of you know licensing in the uh, in the game and it's like Tony did you hear the Champions League music never did you not win the leagues oh I won the league yeah but I, I left straight away so I didn't I didn't want to go messing around with the Champions League We wouldn't qualify, but we get to play in the qualifiers. So I think I think the game would probably still let you have let you have that, to be honest, and they'd still play it. Because we had it for the Euro the Euro Conference qualifiers. It's just almost two TJ in it. It's two TJ. Ghost I was in your shoes, I look for Van Rowan National, get promotion, FA trophy, leave to boost the rep. We'll get you into Scotland. I think, I think it's a coin toss to be honest, Ghost. I think it's like I get the whole the managerial rep with Scotland is going to be tricky. The, 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 there is going to be a drop. However, we do it is not going to be good, really. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
wherever we go is going to be a drop in rep get this done first as George says yeah let's keep our eyes peeled East Fife in League 2 they're currently sat 8th England bad Scotland good can't really disagree you know um, I think there's definitely more Sligo's Island though unfortunately the East Fife kicks are, kids are banging to be honest um, I'll keep my eye on Forest Green because if we drop down then there is a pizza cup to go for we throw all in on the pizza cup does that sound like a does that sound like a compromise so we go with a vegan club so we go with a morally good adventure we go into England only because of the fact that we're going because they're nice and there's the pizza cup there other than that I think the plan is go for go for Scotland and try and get something because we need, we need to get some more trophies on the board because remember the thing is is we we said ourselves once we got the uh, once we got our first couple of titles and our first couple of trophies with with Bambridge we were like alright cool maybe maybe this is actually going to happen like you know maybe there is a is a thing like we could potentially do this this um, this challenge because up until that point it just made no sense right it just made no sense like we're just just plodding along just like treading water it was a, a really bad journey man at this point okay tick a couple off and all of a sudden it's like oh actually maybe it's doable right Inverness have turned us down okay shortlist strength of other candidates that's fine no problem okay so that gives us an idea that we're not going to be getting to the top level of the scottish championship okay uh llama's point here if tj's a one and a half star coach you'll get an upgrade to two stars when and if he wins the northern irish premiership if his course is a big word if is a big word move to a league that is at least two and a half stars or has a cup to win this two and a half stars that way when you win it your rep will improve again if you move to Wales and win a 0.5 star league as a two star manager, you won't get a rep boost. Yes, that's a very, very good point. Very good point indeed. And to be fair, that's explained it much more than I could. <laughs> Lama, you've, you've got me. Like, that's that's how I thought I understood it. Like, how, going to Wales and winning a cup isn't going to get me any better than dropping back down to the Northern Irish Championship and winning that. Like, because it's a lower rep league. You know, Bradford on verge of relegation to the conference. Well, again, that's going to be that's going to make things things tricky. They're a good side, Bradford. They, they would attract us a lot of players, but what's our options? You know, where are we going to go? What can we bring in? What's our what's our cups looking like? Again, we've said there, cup options is the FA Trophy. It's a one one cup and promotion yes there's playoffs so we have a bit of a safety net there that we don't have to win I suppose that does sort of make those divisions slightly more appealing unlike when we're in the Welsh divisions you know where it's like literally there's Cymru North and Cymru South you have to win those divisions and that's it that'll be horrible Plus, it'll be fun to see a five-star Jameson age 68 having to move to the Welsh second division because he still hasn't won it. Exactly. That's the thing. That's the thing. We've got all these sorts of things to think about, Rogi. And, uh, sorry, Rogi. Um, Lama, I should say. Sorry. Um, and that's the, that's the beauty of the challenge is that we will have to, at some point, pop back to Banbridge and be like, shit, we never won the third division, did we? We never actually won the uh, a couple of these cups. So back we go. It's going to be weird. I find it very very interesting indeed Could progress through the leagues of Bradford okay realistically a 15 realistically how how far do you think you we could go with Bradford but the inside wing on the right and then uh, okay that's not bad shot that's not bad shot yeah Uh, 
Uh, the thing is, he likes to cut in from the left, doesn't he? Uh, moves in the channels. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he's a left sided player, that's the thing. Counter, -argue, uh, counter argument is you have to win them all, so it's worth taking a step down now. That's, that's always the counter argument that you've got to win them all like he just needs to get it if you get out of conference Brad from winning league one and two is realistic I guess if you get I'll agree with that I'll agree with that if you get some Premier League players then yes you're right it is doable it is doable to get promoted remember promoted counts as well not just the title only somehow winning the Premier League and the Champions League in the same season but failing the challenge because he forgot about the part-time cut would be so very funny. <laughs> there is that. Also as well, right, okay. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cynical here. Right? I think I think we're getting viewers in because the challenge is a bit interesting because we're not playing with the sorts of clubs that everybody does on stream. Will we lose some of that appeal if we suddenly end up as Swindon or if we suddenly end up as Bradford? You know, the, of course, the counter argument is no, you'd pick up more because there are more people from those areas watching for those teams or looking out for those teams. And there's the counter argument of no one really cares who you're managing. You just people come for the vibes. I get that argument as well. I mean, what we tend to do, though, is we tend to tr to avoid ourselves getting relegated. Then we go on a bit of a tear. That's what we could do, isn't it? Um, they come for the dessert eating. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking more like because obviously I I get the I get why we're all here. Like we've been here for a while uh, and Saka today. Yeah. But what I mean, like, like if you're also, if you're completely brand new right, and you're just stream scrolling through Twitch. Do, do people look at the, at the team tag? I don't know. It's uh, maybe it's something I've just sort of considered myself because we've. I'm, I'm amazed given the teams that we have, the teams we've been managing. We, we've been able to sort of like pull in some some newer, some newer viewers. I'd love to even more if they did a great steel regional challenge, take on team mid season, save them from relegation. Well, I mean that there's next year's challenge, George. Sullivan. Oh, he kicked that one out. Or do people just randomly stroll through Twitch? There's, there's that as well. There's that argument as well. I know when we raid, there's a little look behind the curtain, but you all know about it. When we raid, I look for an interesting save. I look for a, for someone that for someone that I think you would all like. Because I don't want to just raid into someone doing Real Madrid or someone being Newcastle in the Champions League. Nobody really wants to watch that. So sort of like look around and be like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's an interesting save going on right now. Or is the challenge to get relegated from every league? Should be easy. It, I don't get relegated that often. I, 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 if anything, I, am, I have uh, thumbnails of me as Steve McQueen for The Great Escape. You used to call me, you used to call me Big Sam. I used to be the guy that gets uh, gets you out of the relegations. Winning stuff, not so much, but avoiding relegations is absolutely my bag. Well, I mean, don't ask Doug Gannon. Canada Marsh, what a goal that is. What a goal. Keen, I've been here twice before. I'm here for the stream. I don't mind the occasional an obscure and fashionable team that's being managed now. Ten times makes it more appealing. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, Glenn Torren have moved up a little closer, haven't they? They're beating Glenn Avon.
know how I got here, but I'm stuck. <laughs> I'll take that bottom. I don't know how I'm here, but I'm here now. So it's fine. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate the honesty. Come for the banter, stay for the seconds. Ghost knows. Ghost knows. the question earlier that I sort of posed myself we do have to win everywhere we've got to go everywhere and is there anything funnier than a Champions League potential manager coming into fucking East Fife just like do you guys normally get fans like do you normally get fans is, is this a thing I don't know this might be the most successful I've seen you be in FM for a while very 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 much so Rogan. very much so actually concerned I forgot how I got here was it not via the the um the football manager show bar because obviously we do, we do Wednesday don't we? was it maybe that I still hope we end up a dumb bar could do could do Tommy Ball hello mate how are you welcome in appreciate you appreciate the follow hope that's treating you good Speaking of obscure uh, saves we did last year, obviously Indonesia. Discord and FC, welcome in. Appreciate you. Appreciate the follow. We had to, yeah, you're right, Ghost. Yeah, we've given up all of our principles. We've played 4 2 3 1 Gag and Press. And we're staring at a possible trophy. Damn you, morally good adventure. Coloring chat, of course. Yeah. Oh, if you just find me with accent, that's even cooler. That's even cooler. Sometimes people end up in, in this part of a raid as well, just like, why am I here? Why am I. Do I add anything to the situation? I don't know. I'm terribly sorry. I'm hit by 20 of puns and references. Yeah, everyone's got a role to play around here. Everyone, it's like we're all in this together, literally. Like, does, does anybody got a reference for him that he might know? It, 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 we're about to talk about something like the 2000s. He doesn't know it. He doesn't know it. It's got a friendly ghost uh, with, with, the, with the posh ball lyrics. That was just that, that put him goat level straight away as well. Talk oh, so that was that was a great stream. That was lovely. A lovely time we all had back then, wasn't it? We're in the pizza cup. A lucky accident. Whatever it is, Barton, you're here now, that's the thing. Like you know you're here now, that's what's important. Posh savers to say that Tyler did it from his stream. I think so. I think we all, yeah, we all sort of like, we came in with the idea of, I came with the idea of going, oh, you know, Sunday will be fine. We'll do that, right? And then we ended up at, Port, at Peterborough just because we could. You know, we, we survived, brilliant. But then the return of Posh, when we went back, oh, just, yeah, perfect, perfect. so much fun costume and everything characters on the team in game narrative in jokes Donna Dobson Mickey Van Sass RJJ King Louis the fact we still talk about it now when it was on FM 21 you know that's the thing in it like we loved our time in Indonesia we had a decent enough journeyman save after it but Posh was the one. Posh was the one. Bobby Coppin, yeah, the perfect 10. Of course, the only thing that survived from the Sunderland era was Aidan McGeady. So, who ironically didn't survive the Sunderland era.
Blackburn aren't going to drop far that far, are they? Hmm. Gator could be fun. Gator could be fun. But again, it's that it's that sort of bounceability in it. What can we what can we take after that? Where can they go? Can they come back up, do you reckon? One trophy as well. To work for. I feel it. Oh, I feel it's for Sunderland as well. put in for Gateshead I mean, the fact they're a football league club is amazing South End they're bottom yeah no affiliates it's uh, Mr McIntosh's team isn't it nice kids mind I must admit the, the kids are quite smart they haven't even got a picture of their brand new stadium the Steve Tilson Stadium boots and laces training ground <laughs> love that good training good youth could we get promoted with Swindon Sounds like Lama's favourite training ground, yeah. Discord, does it matter where your pre-season training camp is? Not really. I think, it, I think it just comes down to cost, to be honest. So I don't think it's too too much of an issue. Four games. Four games to go. Glen Avon, then Glen Torren away. That's the game that's going to take it to the wire, isn't it? We're looking at all these these jobs away, going like, oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Still haven't even won the job that's in front of our hands just yet. So we don't know at this point. We don't know. James is injured. Have we got a right back back yet? Callum Wilson, of course, brought his legs, so he's not coming back anytime soon. Gateshead ground is something like you got to school, five laps around the track in the match after. Gateshead was, um, there's always that question, in it, and the, I think the answer is Aberdeen, but the question was normally is, is who had the first um, all seat stadium? And Gateshead had the first one in England, but uh, Aberdeen had the first one in Britain so um, no worries good you no worries man pleasure to have you in as always take it easy my man and uh, we'll catch you soon so yeah make sure you drop Dave a follow by the way everyone if you don't already do so I'm sure you do um, but yeah getting the uh, having the Gateshead Stadium around there is pretty impressive if I can sell a complaint let's do that put Kinsella there boys I'm gonna go back on the bench Chevron's got a knock, which is a shame because he's been playing really well. Um, take boys out for power because power's not on a tyre. A little bit of rotation, but not much, I think, here. I've seen all the complication matters, what type of teams you play, more technical teams in Portugal, more physical ones in Austria, for example. Ah, okay, is that what it works, is it? Nice. I suppose that makes sense, actually. Evening, Reese, how are you, buddy? Welcome in. Hope you're good. Hope life's, hope life's treating you well. Four games to go. Four games. That's all it is. Four. Four matches. 
four matches from potentially winning the title of Reese or four matches from potentially bottling the title. Either or. Either or. That's where we are. We're still top for now. Hopefully in the next four games we'll still we'll remain top. Oh, Mika sit up the top of the net there. Could you imagine? I can imagine, Zach. We've done it before. We'll do it again. <laughs> you know we're more than capable of doing this. All right. This is the last update. Have you struggled to get a run of games going? So the last last match you saw, well, did you see did you see the last stream? The last stream we got going, but then we won we won a cup. Then we got knocked out of a cup on penalties and then we lost the cup again. So that was a bit a bit shit. We have managed to get ourselves sorted in this stream. It's been pretty decent. Um, we're playing some decent decent football. So it put us down that thing of going like have, we, have the players gone enough in the tank to get over the line? That's that's what we're going to be looking for. So hopefully, hopefully we will have enough in there. If we haven't, fucking God knows what. God knows what. Can't feel like we put three wins together all of a sudden. Sometimes it happens, doesn't it? Like you, you, the opposition work out your tactic. They work out how you're playing, and it's like, right, just do that. That's how you stop them. Switch those two players around, see if that makes any difference, I reckon. Seller down the wing, Palmer up over the top. Well, Sullivan's through. Palmer, Canamar through the header. Glenn Torren have scored. That puts the pressure on. That means there's only a point in it now. <laughs> we play Glenn Torren next. Oof, he's gone down the area. This is crazy, right? Here's Duffy. Good save. <coughs> Two nil up for Glen Torrent now. If it goes to goal difference, we're fine. I don't know why we do it, Kev. I don't know. I'm starting to, to worry now. I'm thinking this is a really bad idea. What a ball. What a goal. Bailey Callum Archery. Excellent piece of football. Duffy holds the ball well. Palmer. What a pass. Callum Archery doesn't need to think about it. Boom. Ted DiBiossi finish. Callum Archery's on pace for 50 goals. It's just... Wherever we go next, we're going for we're going to try and bring Callum Archery in, right? And that's where it's gotta be. Over the top again. Oof. And you know what? He's he misses a lot as well, that's the problem. He scores all these goals and he misses so many. He should probably be on a hundred by now. Felix to Chelsea. Um, what a ball that is. What a miss. What a miss. Um, I think it's a decent signing to be honest. Uh, Rishi Rules, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. Um, yeah, like, I think he's um, he's a good player. Good number 10. Um, is he what Chelsea need? Maybe. Um, it's a, he's relatively cheap to be honest. Is it, is it a loan first with an option to buy or is it... Is it, a, is it just an outright transfer? So Chelsea have got a rebuild job they need to do, so they're going to be splashing cash left, right and centre. Uh, we could have had signed Devante Cole if we wanted to. Really? 
more amused by the fact that, that I, I hope I might go back to Barcelona. That's a weird thing as well, yeah. They want Porro as well. There was a bust up with them two, wasn't there? Yeah, I think there was a bust up with those two, so that'd be interesting. That also suggests Reese James is injured for longer. So we shall see. Oh, okay, that's what that's what I was right. Yeah, that, that's a that's a reason for them two not to get on, I suppose. Lovely finish from Mikkelsen. 2 0. 11 million pounds for six month loan. Fuck. I didn't realize that I didn't realize that that's what they paid for for a loan. I thought that was the I thought that was the end fee. I thought they were paying like about sort of 10 or 12 million pounds to buy him. Get a card in as well. I thought I thought yeah I thought it was a loan with like an option to buy for like what like 11 million 12 million or something so. He's no, he's no about Veg Horst, is he? Let's be honest. That's going to be the signing of January. Brilliant signing. Callum Martin again. You reckon it's embarrassing? How come? How come, Rick? Talk to me. What, what's what's your view on that one? Different outlet, isn't it? Surely. Favorite sign so far: Andrew Lockhart to Huddersfield. Well, that is a signing. So we're three points clear. Look at that goal difference: sixty-three to Glen Torrens, thirty-seven. Atletico extend Felix Felix's contract, have they? Amazing. Amazing. Absolute shithousery of of, uh, of Atletico Madrid is, is incredible. That, that feels the top two boxes of the wage contribution is uh, is boxes and FM. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like, like as as Discord Dan says, there, like, you know, think about, think about Giroud. Giroud's a brilliant signing, even this, even this stage of his career, you would say. You know, he's still banging the AC, man. Great goal. Um, you know, Zlatan. Cesc goes off to Leipzig, yeah, yeah, because yeah, obviously it's it's part of the uh, part of the Red Bull dynasty, isn't it? You don't just sign for one club, you sign for all of the clubs. Murder, uh, Mud Mud Mudrick. Interesting. Pepe Mart too. Possibly, possibly. United go for Kane. They could well do. I think that's the big money move in the summer, isn't it? Kane to United. And if it doesn't happen, then it's like it's never going to happen. So maybe like the whole the whole veg horse thing is just a little stopgap for now. See what's what. Offers an alternative. Offers something different. You know. 
why would you not? Seeing this thing, Sesco and Kane is FM talk manifesting in real life. Yeah. And that's the thing, Rogi, right? Like, you know, like someone like Veghorst is, if they're coming in for cheaper than everyone else is going to be, then it's, it's better than signing nobody, isn't it? Like, and it gives you another option. Someone gets injured, you can put Veghorst on there and go, right, you know, it's better than bringing a 16 year old kid in who's not got any experience who's maybe not ready like you know you don't want to be sort of pushing players straight into that first team for it not to work out have their confidence destroyed because fans have got on their backs you know like and I'm not going to be saying oh but he's got Premier League experience like that for me is not is not a thing like you know that's not what I'm talking about but I think that yeah, if he if he comes in, I think he's he's an option. He's an option. You no. Know? No. Right. Okay. Right. Fine. He didn't score goals at Burnley. He was at Burnley. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, think about that. Is that not part of the problem? This is a bit too, too laid back. We need something that's gonna. I need to change it up because we're about to play the biggest game of our of the save tonight against Glenavon. Sixteen and Pashista score every two games of a cracking return for striker. Yeah, exactly. Hesk used to be one in four. Come on, then here we go. Final time. So run out against Glen out. The girls Glen Torren this season. Ivan Tony probably could, but he's going to cost more money and also can't play for a while. So, yeah, that's you know, that's that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Like, yes, he could, he could, he could do it, you know, if he wasn't going to be banned forever. <laughs> but that's going to slow his game down a little bit. Even Man United wouldn't buy a player who's like not going to be there. Um, even though for how you how you really. He hasn't been charged yet. That's a good point. Yes, Joby jo jo should should say he hasn't been charged, but that is to be considered. And yeah, and Brentford wouldn't need to sell him. Brentford wouldn't need to sell, so the price would be a lot higher. Hence the whole argument for Gareth for um, for Grealish. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, he's not worth a hundred million quid. No, he's not. But to a club who doesn't need to sell, who has a, who has quite a lot of money, they're going to want to get the best price for him. And you're right. He's not worth 100 million quid, but you'll certainly uh, argue your case to to not have to pay out on it. to get this one done yeah that and that was my point that was my point Rogi about about Mitrovic he never <coughs> you know he's never exactly done it in the Premier League up until this season and again I'm not saying that the Premier League is this mythical land where you know if you if you can't play in the Premier League then you're not good enough like, I'm not can he do it in Premier League? I'm not bothered about that. I'm surprised he scored as many goals as he had this season because he plays in bad teams. You know, you score a thousand goals in the Championship. You've still, you've clearly got something about it. You know, exactly. Go and go and get, go and get Dominic Solanke. You know, oh, it's Duffy. 
likely to look up. Scott Parker went with a winger who can't cross. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, that. yeah, that could be part of it. Callum March with there. Under the management for so much individual performance stuff, they're not out controlling the players' movements on the pitch. See? Players can think for themselves. They can. And Mitrovic will cost more money than their course as well. Exactly. Because why would Fulham sell them? They need them as well. And the thing is, they, you, you, look, we're talking about January transfer window. Everybody costs more money in January because teams don't need to sell. You know, the, the players who get sold tend to be players who are doing well, so therefore their price goes up. If a player's not playing well, then all the fans turn and go, why are you buying this person? There's no need for it. So it's it's always a bad time to buy. Plus you're buying after, after an international tournament as well. So the prices are going to be higher again. You, know, you never get value. Plus, of course, the Premier League's got more money again than ever before. So once again, the fees go up. So, you know, you've got all that to think about. And it all adds to overinflated prices. And you don't get value. There's no such thing as value anymore. DCL goes for more than the price of curly whirly football's money laundered. Well, yeah, and you, and you know what? Great question. What does DCL go for these days? In, this, in the current market, what does he go for? Does he go for 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 mil? You wouldn't be surprised, would you? Goes for nothing. Don't, don't be silly. Don't be silly, Reese. Come on. Come on now. Dominic Solanke went for 20 million. English tax. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, George. That's the thing. Yeah, so, so those. So he, he definitely goes for something. Right? You know, there's no way he does. There's no way he goes for nothing. Alex and Warby went for forty million. Yeah, yeah. Look at all these fucking English prices. You know. Speaking is fifty percent English tax, fifty percent sports media, acting like he's hundred percent better player than he is. Yeah. The Charles went for fifty. DCL is going for seventy-five. Andy Carroll went for 90. <laughs> I don't I don't think I don't think he's real. What did that just say? Did that just say we can potentially win the title today? No, shoot, no. I think we've potentially got into a situation where we might be able to win the league tonight. Three points clear. It's 38 games, isn't it? I think we're going, we're going 36 games. We're going to go to the wire. We're going to the wire. Rafael Leal is a good player. He's a very good player, actually. Fact, Duffy's had a good season, but let's bring him off for Evans. Born in the wall. Oh, that's right. Give the free kick. Yeah, that's fine. Doing really well in, in Roma. Really, really well. Anyway, because he's very, very good, that's why. But then he won't go for as much because Italy doesn't have as much money. So you could buy Tammy Abraham if you're Man United. But again, 
how much is he going to cost more than Beghorst? You know? This bit for United, that would be hell of a that would be hell of a pick, wouldn't it? I think it'd be good actually if uh, if Tommy makes a legacy out in Italy because it's a massive fuck you to everyone else over here. Do you know what I mean? Huge. You know, he, was, he was brilliant when he was a villa. Can sell out, knocks the ball into no man's land. Gets it back. Shot drilled straight into the. Uh, That's for Linfield player. Hewlin up over the top. <sighs> what a goal, what a goal. And it might just be the goal. Somebody clip it. What a touch. What a touch from Calamari. I think that's enough and we, we win the title on goal difference. We won't even have to play the two games. If it stays like this, if. Ooh. How old am I, Nutsford? Uh, I'm 42. I'm 42. I'm 43 in six weeks' time. Uh, in fact, not even that now. Oh, we thought we gave away a penalty there. Oh, 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 oh. I was convinced we'd give away a penalty. Twice, in fact, at that point. Surely two penalties. Surely two penalties given away. That makes up for the 95th minute winner that they scored in the cup. That's fine, just keep the ball. Oh, Scannell's through. Oh. <laughs> I think we might have done it. I think we've done it. I think mathematically, we are the champions. It hasn't happened yet. So where we are, right, where we are, they've, there's two games to play, okay? They can get six points. We can get six points. There's no way they're going to get a swing of goals at all, right? The only way that we haven't won the title is if there's a head-to-heads to decide it. League scoring rules, goal difference first, then goal scored. We've won the title. We've, we've won the title, basically. And we've won it at Glen Torren. So next match, it becomes official. We are the champions. Um, so even if we lose to Larn, we win. Is that right? A draw does us. Yeah, one more point. One more point for our last two games, and when we won the title. But we've all, but we have already won the title. If that makes sense. Like, it's physically impossible for us to, to lose it now. It's just the game doesn't understand that at this point. And we are at home to land. So if we just sit everyone on the, on, the, uh, on the goal line, please try your hardest to throw this away. <laughs> I mean... Imagine that, George. Imagine if this is the if, if I actually managed to do this, and you go, Tony. It was physically. How have you thrown away a thirty goal head start? <laughs> I 
I don't know if it, I, I don't even know if I can throw a thirty goal head a thirty goal head start. Right? That would be that would be ridiculous. The fact the fact we've. Uh, when do Glenn Torren play the next two games? Should theoretically be playing them at the same time as us, to be honest. Trifle to celebrate. We haven't got a trifle tonight. We've got um, we've got six mince pies tonight. We had a tiramisu the other night. We've now got a, a, a remote, a remote, um, a uh, channel point redemption for pick the dessert for the next stream. So Mrs. J has already picked that we're going to have a, um, a Black Forest cow on stream for the next one. Pour one bottle from another. Yeah, because I've, I've got a big, a big water bottle, so I don't want to be scrunching that. So. Um, Glen Torren playing now. So if they lose to Cliftonville, they've got beat. <laughs> We've won the title. We've won the title. The two greatest words in the English language. Default. 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 <laughs> accidental title win the best kind of title win the wins that you don't expect Linfield do the double Los Campeones in Northern Ireland another title win now now quit <laughs> just don't even don't even bother with the uh, just like fuck off not even not even arse not even arse now lads Well, there you go. That's handy, isn't it? Getting a getting a title that we didn't expect. Well, I mean, we, we did expect it, but you know, two games to go. Champs. I mean, now we need to start working out who we're going to go and manage, right? That's the thing. Quit and discuss saying we don't win here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Two seconds. Two seconds. Where are my manners? Where are my manners? Let me just very, very quickly, very quickly. Double check something. What have we won since we've been here? So we won that. That's the Bet McLean's. Yeah, that's the Bet McLean Intermediate Cup, was it? Or was that the League Cup? Bet McLean's the League Cup, isn't it? Is that right? Azeri, <laughs> how long have I been streaming? Uh, I've been streaming three and a half hours, to be honest. Um, I was signed from Porter down the day after collecting the medal. <laughs> Chance to wear a new team shirt during the open top bus parade of your current club. <laughs> I like that. I like the idea. Uh, would not be easy to read the mail, so you got you won the double. It is, but it doesn't. But it, because of the way that we've um, that we've lifted that out, so being knocked out of the North Irish Cup. Um, on the graphic when the Premiership on oh, the Antrim Shield I oh, won the Antrim Shield did we okay that's what it was there we go right that's what we've got right so one two three four five right okay yeah so officially five say season six for now but we can 
update. Look at that. It says five now. It says five. There we go. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it doesn't look as daunting now, does it? I know we kind of like nudge slightly, but let's see what happens to our rep now. Right, so our rep, we're up to two star rep now. Okay, F flying, absolutely flying. Celebratory mince pie, anybody? Evening, Pilgrim. <laughs> it's only January, FM 24 will be out till October. Plenty of time. Oh, mate, we, we've got this, we've got this. United City, both of us, we're totally on it. Absolutely fine. Five down, 30 to go. Exactly, well, 29 actually, 29 to go, because there's only 34 to win, so we've, yeah, only 29 now. Um, not just top of the not just top of the league, Pilgrim. Not just top of the league, champions with two games to go. We've won the title. We're gonna walk before we play before we step foot in the Champions League. Like, stupid, right? Um, Rogi, appreciate you as always, buddy. Um, so yes, the decisions now, of course, are gonna be what do we do with uh, with the next step. So. And when do we do it? Where's the mystery tour going? I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. You know, I've got no idea really. Um, we need to think of something. Resign after the final game of the season. Absolutely. That needs to happen. Um, at that point, we then try and work out where we go. Where we go next. Um, Northern Ireland's not done. Um, Pilgrim, no. We've still got quite a bit left to do. It's done for now, I think. Um, it's done for now. Um, but the plan is to go to Scotland, we think. Um, but then again, it all depends upon what jobs come available because we need to do something that's going to get us some some more trophies and some wins. Um, there are a couple of jobs, I mean, like Blackburn maybe, Championship, Forest Green. I still fancy this job. I still fancy the Forest Green job. Bradford City's not a bad shout either. Um, we don't know. We just don't know. The Hartley Pools. Elgin all the way down there. Do we look at some? Do we look at the, a trip to Wales and see what happens? I mean, that would be. That's like literally taking, taking everything and like just going. Let's just press the chaos button, essentially, isn't it? So. I don't know. I don't know. We have to have a bit of a think. We have to have a think. So, so maybe we can take Bailey with us. And I think that's going to be. Um, it's probably like a championship level side, isn't it? Scott SPL, he'll be. He'll, he'll come to SPL with us. Um, but. I don't know. I don't know. I think we've got this. Uh, yeah, we've got this game here. So let's play this one. Obviously, as well, I've still got this little bit in my head going. Oh, I don't. It's a real really shame that we have to resign, isn't it? But we have. We have to. We have to. There's nothing, there's nothing left for us here now. 
He'll come back in the future. He'll be fine. Pick somewhere. I might keep the save file. So we'll put the save file in Discord if anyone wants to wants to continue on the uh, the on the Linfield journey. Feel free to do so. Do you need to resign or can you just apply for other jobs? I can do either, to be honest, uh, Pilgrim. So we'll probably have to resign because of the, the um, compensation that we'll need to pay, or that, or that will be need to pay from from other clubs. Sorry. So it's going to be a bit of that, but we'll see. Huge. Something beautiful about like Hal Hudlin getting like a near post header. Last home game of the season. Send up the big lad. Zion is rep, do we? Is that a thing? I didn't know that. I guess that's the thing, isn't it? If we, if we do that, then that's going to be even more depressing, isn't it? I know it's a little anti climatic now, friendly. I'm just going to literally, I'm going to play this match then. I'm going to, we'll, we'll raid off. So we'll do our, our sort of next, next stream will be us looking for jobs and stuff and getting that, that, plan, put, that plan put together. So maybe we will do that actually on the, um, on the next stream so we'll do the draft on friday as part of a as part of the super league if we're done in decent time we might jump on but maybe more saturday we'll, we'll see because i mean sunday is going to be early for drafting duffy into the top bins side of power. does it lose rep okay Interesting. So, what are our options then? Do we either just apply for jobs that are sort of in and around where we are, or do we take that chance? Is it that? Kev finally beat Shakhtar in a match today, Tony, on the European Super Cup with small gains. Small gains is the way, Kev. It's a trophy, isn't well, it? Uh, contract, I think, is it next year, actually, the, the closing. They're stupidly gave you a two-year deal, which is, um, which is crazy. But, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I'm not against another year at Linfield, really, in the grand scheme of things. Um, just until a job comes up, but it would feel weird you know, doing a Champions League qualifier and then going, I'm off to Elgin, see you later lads, this has been fun. Um, that would feel weird. Yeah, it goes month to month, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at that point we don't actually have any um, there's no compensation to pay. So, Mura de Carne, I appreciate you as always. Thank you very much. It is a huge flaw, yeah. But then again, there are some some jobs in I mean, Alex Neal at Sunderland was on a month-to-month -month contract, and look how that worked out. When I obviously went to, to Stoke, so... Apply for jobs first off, you can't get one in July. Bite the bullet and resign. It's all about the right club, isn't it? That's the thing. With this sort of challenge, it's definitely the right club. What's the job that can get us something, you know, or get us 
a foot on a ladder. So I think we do that with a clear head. There is that, there is that, George, yeah. Yeah, we've not got any rep anyway, so we don't exactly lose anything, do we? And I guess the thing as well is that even if you are a fairly big name manager in the future, then resigning is not going to be a massive issue either, is it? So, because the only way you leave a club is either resigning or getting sacked. And you're going to lose rep both ways at that point, aren't you? Evans with a hell of a finish there. Look at that, defenders getting each other's way. Evans takes it on, runs, pings it up there. That'll do. Two 0 Will we get the trophy? Will we get, will we get the presentation? I reckon because it's our final home game. I wonder if we do, or, or do we not get one now that we've actually the games already thinks we're champions? I swear, to God, if Kennedy scores again. Torren lost that match though. Madness. Gonna take it. Trophy presentation that only happens if the title is confirmed. Don't think we get one. I didn't think we did either. Yeah. That's the issue. Again, that's a bit of a flaw as well with the game. Like you'd sort of it'd be nice to have a presentation, wouldn't it? Because we've earned it. We've earned one. At the minute no one believes we've won a title. definitely have we definitely 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 have can confirm oh Tull's giving it away oh great finish down, it's not a problem. Three points. Final final victory at home, that's what we want. You know, so at least we've got that. Right, title's done. We've got it, it's ours. Call rain away is our final match. But we'll do that on the next the next stream, I think, to be honest. Um, what we will do, though, what we will do is we'll go and pass on our love and our congratulations and all that sort of stuff. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to go and see RDF, who's got something building at the minute, apparently? Or do you want to go and see Simaj, who's just started, I think? And they've both run for two hours, so they've both got a wee bit left. Um... 
happy to take a recommendation at this point. So what do you want to do? Do you want to see Psy or do you want to see RDF? No worries at all, Kev. I appreciate you. Appreciate you so much. Thank you as always for being in the chat. And you saw, you saw, you saw us win a try to win a trophy as well. So that's the thing. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? Right, Radis says RDF. Let's go and see my boy. I don't actually think we've raided RDF for for a long time actually, to be honest. So um, let's go and give him some love then. Right, drop on, shout out. Everyone loves RDF. We do. You do. Take it easy, everyone. We will see you all on Friday for some drafting. Peace and love, everyone. We've won a title. We're back. Job hunt next. All the best. Bye now. <laughs>